Hey everyone, my name is Danilo Petrovic. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kudla. I'm Evgeny Donsko. I'm Henry Laksana. I'm Peter Turepko, and, and you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Welcome back, tennis fans. Here we go. It is semi-finals time. It's semi-finals Saturday here in Belgrade. And it is the world number one. Novak Djokovic is up against his Australian Open semi-finalist, uh, his adversary, Aslan, the lion, Karatsev. This guy who's right here on my T-shirt. This guy. Come on, Aslan. This is going to be uh, a match for the ages. Can he overturn Djokovic and in his, and in his own wheelhouse, JG? Mate, in his own backyard. And I thought you was going to yeah. do the intro as the world number one, Novak Djokovic, and the GTL world number one, Aslan <laughs> Karatsev, because we absolutely adore the guy. We've had him on the podcast. He then went on a storming one run it in Australia. Yep. He's back in another semi-final. He's going to have to get through Djokovic. This is going to be tough. But I know we had a little um, disagreement on the last one. I actually think it's going to be easier to beat him here in Belgrade than what it would have been in the Australian Open. Hey, uh, he's on the clay this time. He's on the clay. Uh, is this going to be the telling factor? He did pro well. He probably did one of the best out of everybody who played Djokovic. Uh, he did better than Medvedev. That's uh, guaranteed. He was the best Russian against Djokovic in the Australian Open, at least. But uh, I just uh, there's just something about this. He's the third seed in this tournament. Djokovic is the first seed. He's been playing well. Yeah. Can Karatsev just spring an upset here? I think he's going to be wanting a little bit of revenge. Or has Djokovic just got his number? I, I think it's going to be tough. It's a big <laughs> ask. I just, I'm just happy that there's an actual challenge now. Because let's be honest, Djokovic, so far, who's he beaten? Should we go through some of the some of the players? Because I know Kezmanovic stands out, but he Man, didn't he put up any challenge whatsoever. Kwon Soon, he just buckled as well. Um, there we go. We get it up here. Just oh, that, oh, that is the two, isn't it? It's just them two. Yeah, I know. It's uh, they've only had to win two games apiece, and you're into the semi-finals. Uh, they both had buys through the first round, obviously, due to their uh, fantastic uh, performances uh, in recent weeks. So obviously, Djokovic, world number one, he's going to get their Karatsev for a blistering, ridiculous start to the year, and uh, he did well against Badeni, mate. It was nip and tuck in that final set tie break i tell you it was super close and he just managed to squeeze it out squeezed him hey i was relieved I, there was a moment i thought but then he had him to be honest i think yeah. he broke back and it was just like it was right in the balance wasn't it like six all i think in the tie break super close and he just so broke close. right at it right at the death and managed to get it done and this is why we've got the songs we've got rs here going let's go aslan Karatsev. <laughs> Karatsev. Karatsev, yes. Let's hope we can wheel out that song a few times today. I'm hoping that we can. Uh, the winner of this matchup will be facing the winner of the match coming up after this, which is Taro Daniel. He's made it through into the semis, and he'll be play oh, well, playing Matteo Berrettini, mate, another Italian. Hopefully he can put a better showing in for the Italians in the semifinals today, as obviously Yannick Sinner went crashing out in the semi-finals in Barcelona. And he will face the winner of Rafael Nadal and Clenio Busta, who, uh, well, we can probably announce that uh, there is, well, we've got a special pundit who is going to be over in uh, Barcelona right now, who can probably give us a bit of an update on how that match has been playing out. It's Mr. John Silk, mate. Come in, mate, and tell us what's been going on. Hi, yeah, thanks for having me on. Um, I'm kind of in, in a mini Barcelona in a way. I'm focused on the on the tournament at hand, although I'm watching it uh, from home, of course. But yeah, uh, Rafa is currently, well, he's on a break point at the moment to go a double break up in the second set, having won the first set 6-3. Uh, although he's just missed, hit a backhand there. And that's kind of been the story of the match so far. I mean, he's dominated for large periods and then had a had a couple of off games um, towards the end of the first set that made you wonder if he was going to collapse after a 5-1 lead. Winning the first set 6-3 and being too love in the second barely tells the story. Um, for the first six games of that first set, 
probably playing the best tennis of the year from from his perspective at least and it looked like you know the old Rafa that we know and love especially on this surface was back and then something very under Dal like was a, a collapse if you like from being 5-1 up uh Karenia Buster had three break points to get it back on serve uh however Nadal managed to just squeeze that out but um, there has been some moments of majesty once again from Nadal, as you would expect. But there was a bizarre overhead that he just completely missed. I mean, we remember the overhead in Australia against Sitsipas. Yeah. yeah, we remember the one in, against Sitsipas, for example. But this one was, was more embarrassing because he just didn't even make connection with the ball. And uh, I mean, I think he had a little chuckle to himself because at that point he was in a pretty commanding position. And despite uh, some of those negative vibes, I, I guess I shouldn't be too negative. I mean, he's he's a break up in the second set and uh, close to being a double break, although it's back to juice right now. Well, it sounds like it's a very uh, interesting one. Looks like we we're going to have in the final that we all wished for. Uh, Stefano Tsitsipas, Rafael Nadal, that will be coming your way tomorrow. Uh, and hopefully we can be uh, giving you coverage of that one as well, as well as the final here in Belgrade. Uh, yeah. But I think we should cut back to Belgrade. We will come back to you, John. Uh, let us know. Give us a wave and let us know if any big things are going down in Barcelona and we'll come back to you. But we're going to try and give a little bit of a preview of this match we're about to uh, anticipate right this second. Yeah, big thanks for that, John. See you soon. Yeah. So right. There you go. We've got a Barcelona correspondent there in the wings, just waiting. <laughs> if any news is to break, but we are going to be in Belgrade for this match. It's going to be Djokovic Karatsev. Yes, They're playing again. Looks like it's a bit of a delay in the start. It was supposed to start about sixteen minutes ago, but looks like it's scheduled there for four twenty uh, UK time. Yeah. And I'm going to go straight off the bat and say Karatsev runs him close. I, th I think we're going to see three sets here today. <laughs> Djokovic is going to come triumphant and win the match. I don't see him. I don't see him losing. If I'm being honest, oh. however, I just want to see. I want to have the moment where the people are going to be doubting, thinking, "What? Djokovic could be going out? Karatsev? It wasn't just a one-season uh, little blip in Australia. He's still doing it now." I want people to be having Karatsev's name in their mouth and thinking about him. Like, can he be? Can he beat Djokovic? Really? I just want some questions to be posed. If he can take a set, maybe be up a break in a, in a deciding set. That's all I'm. That's all I'm asking for today from Karatsev. If he goes all the way and wins, I'll be astonished and very happy. However, I only see it going one way, and that's Djokovic winning. Yeah, mate. I mean, it's sort of it's a tough one to call, isn't it? I mean, he sort of wiped the court with Kekmanovic and with Kwon Soon. Uh, Karatsev did well against Mager. I thought that would be a tougher match for him, uh, Gianluca Mager. He's a real great clay court player, but he managed to breeze past him uh, in straight sets, which is a real relief and uh, a sign that he's coming back to playing some really great stuff. I don't think either of these players have played anyone too high level yet. No. So I think Karatsev could shock him, but he needs to get in there quick and shocking fast that's what i think well i think you said it didn't you on um was it nadal in monte carlo prior to that match um who was he who did he rublev prior to rublev he had dimitrov and del Bonis. neither yeah. of them really put up any tests for him so he went into the rublev rublev match somewhat cold if you know what i mean yeah, uh, he wasn't really to his full level wasn't really warmed up you can see the serve was pretty terrible actually during yeah. that match could we see maybe the same here today with Djokovic? He's had a few matches, not really been challenged, not been put through some paces. And sometimes going into a match where he is going to be put through some paces today against Karatsev without being pushed too heavy, I don't think that's a good preparation, really, personally. Well, and plus, he's sort of an unknown entity again, Aslan Karatsev, on the clay. I mean, he's played him on the hard court, but then you haven't played him on the clay yet. So he's unknown to a lot of the top players on the tour so playing him on these different surfaces for the first time you're only really getting to get a feel of him within the first few games or the yeah. first set so he might catch Djokovic off guard in the first set but Djokovic is a tough nut to crack I have to say that, I mean, be... as well 
it's just everything stacked against Karatsev. Yeah, honest. I'm exactly Belgrade, Djokovic. Uh, there's not any fans there, from what I can see. If there is, there's minimal. It's, oh, there is uh, a few, it seems. I think the atmosphere in Barcelona was probably slightly better. There seemed to be a bit more. Oh, definitely. There's definitely. some music going on as well. I'm not sure. To be fair, it's the first tournament I think we've covered. The first watch along of Belgrade, is it not? Yeah, I believe so, mate. Yeah. But it's a good one to start with, for sure. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to everyone in the chat. We're not ignoring you guys. Uh, we've got Abasa saying, hey, Rafa's playing. Yeah, we know he's playing, but we're going to be covering this one. It wouldn't be the same if we was to miss Aslan Karatsev. Obviously, he's like the gem of the podcast right now. Yeah. Um, we've got Robert there going, big boy Karatsev for the win. Midfield maestro. What's up, guys? Yeah, we're very well, mate. How you doing? Thanks for How joining doing, us. Bro? Uh, and Nora going, vamos Rafa, vamos Aslan. Hello, GTL guys. <laughs> Liked uh, both fantastic watch longs. Rafa up 20. Oh, well, I can't let there's uh, Alex BG saying, bet your house on Karatsev. <laughs> I don't know if I'll put my house on him. <laughs> I think that's very. And then we got Robert Wood with big boy Karatsev for the win. Everyone going in hard on Karatsev today. Djokovic. Uh, it looks like we'll be serving first. He's been serving well all this week. The serve is his big weapon. And yeah. uh, we'll but it is, it's not the same serve on the clay, though, is it? Let's be honest. Djokovic no. can't really overpower <laughs> someone using just the serve on, on clay. So it will be somewhat neutralized, I feel. Um, and Karatsev did so well in Australia against him. But let's just see what happens. I'm here for a good one today. Super excited to see how this match turns out. I think we've just started now. Djokovic to serve first. Uh, before we get too into this one, I want to know, guys, what do you think? Who do you think is going to win? Are we going to go with what Melez is saying? Are we going to see some revenge for Aslan? Or is it going to be a straightforward day in the office for Novak Djokovic? Uh, and he's going to do exactly what he did in Australia and beat him in straight sets. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's real tough. We've got a, a creatine chance. They're saying Karatsev needs to vary his play. Moon balls, drop shots, net play, the works, along with his super solid forehand and backhand. Yeah, for me, it's going to be a real tough uh, task today. I only really see it going one way, but I've got my uh, hope all launched just ready for the Aslan uh, offensive if he does start pulling it out because I want to see him do the job here today. But for me, Djokovic does it probably in straight sets. Mate, but... we've got to have... Imagine have doing this whole watch long without an Aslan Karatsev button. Even if it's a, a double bagel, I think we're going to have to pull it out. <laughs> Mate, we'll have to. We'll have to. Djokovic has his own button. Don't forget, the Joker is always there. Oh, yeah, of course. I've seen that pull. for a bit as well. He's looking to... There's a game to love. He started well. And the Joker's already in play. Mate, no, we've got Wildlife saying Djokovic in straight sets. Um, yeah. We've got Shavam saying Karatsev plays with an insane amount of risk. Yeah, which can, yeah. I don't know, it can be rewarding or it can be a bit damaging as well. I think against Korda, it was the latter. It didn't work out very well at all. And I must admit, the way he started this match, no, it's just started, he didn't really find the court at all. I think all of them were unforced errors. Djokovic didn't actually do anything. He just served and waited for Karatsev to make a mistake on every single serve. So yeah. hopefully he's gonna, not going to be like that the whole time. You uh, we've got Durham saying, are we just going to be talking? Yeah, this is a live watch. Unfortunately, we can't show the match. We'd love to. Uh, but we're taking you through the play-by-play, -play, giving our thoughts as it happens. I just think it's tough because there's always got to be an air of just nerves and stuff because Djokovic is always going to be an intimidating figure down the other end of the court. So solid, so consistent, and you just know that you can't really give him just three points. So, Ooh. yeah, it's an interesting rally, this one. Yeah, I'm not sure about this camera angle. No, I was going to say the same. In fact, it's actually terrible, I would say. I don't want to yeah. be too um, rude on the whole thing, but if you compare it to what we've just been watching in Barcelona... You can barely this, see the ball. This camera co coverage is awful. Well, I have to see how we go. I might well, have what a shot that is, though. Well played, Djokovic. Just doing what he does best. Not so lost, flexible, isn't he? Not lost a point yet. <laughs> won every single point come on Aslan Aslan Karatsev <laughs> come on son let's see who he pops this serve serve out to the backhand hey, side there we go he's got a point it. down the line 
That's what we He's like on the to board. See. Finally. Do we play a button then? <laughs> no, <laughs> already. <laughs> Mate, we, uh, we can't get too gun ho on these button presses. There, let us know in the live chat anyway. Uh, we've got a few predictions. Shavum saying Djokovic 6 3 6 4. Let us know. Do you think this is going to be a straight set for Djokovic or do you think uh, Aslan's got something to say about it? Is there some revenge in there? Can he uh, hang in there until the end of the set? Maybe get this to a tie break, maybe force Djokovic's hand. Is Djokovic going to maybe have a level dip as well? Do you always think that people have to turn it up against Djokovic? Sometimes players have dips as well. Yeah. And Djokovic has his own fair share. You saw him against Dan Evans, 45 unforced errors. So, well, Mate, I'm just hoping that they change this camera angle for tomorrow, for the final. If we're going to be covering the final and they have this, it's terrible. Hate it. Yeah, it's not a good one. You've got it? Wild Love saying it's too low, the camera, and the resolution is not great either. <laughs> Complaints at the rev resolution. The revolution. It's going to be a revolution if Karatsev beats Djokovic, I tell you that much. Uh, there you go. Good serve. That's this time, 1530. 30 all, you mean? 30 all, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Good serve. Only got a frame on it. And, uh, well, I just need him to hold this serve. Just steady the nerves, Aslan. Come on. It's a tough first service game, isn't it? Yeah, obviously, we've not covered too much about this. You've got the other semi final uh, happening later on. You've got Berrettini versus a bit of a surprise package, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The guy he's facing, Tara Daniel. He did well, actually, against Del Bonis in the yeah. uh, last round. He well, came... he's beating Milman now, Del Bonis. And Del Bonis is playing a lot better, I must admit. Uh, but here we go, break points into the net Ooh. there. So scary uh, signs here for us, <laughs> lad. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Djokovic isn't scared of the line. I get the feeling. I just feel that Aslan is gonna gonna want to try and just try too hard on certain shots, and it worries me because he's prone to an error if he's trying too hard. Good serve down the tee. Hitting it hard inside out forehand, going inside out again. Djokovic Ooh, on the stretch. He's pushing him around. He comes yeah, into the like... net here. I think it's just yes, it's wide. Yeah. There we go. He <laughs> saved the break point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no uh, <laughs> clue who uh, JG's supporting. <laughs> well, well, I think both of us have got Aslan Karatsev in our hearts. It's a tough one to go against, really. Him. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> Got Mamela saying, keep bombing in there, Aslan. <laughs> and Alariza, come on, Aslan, Karatsev. And then uh, Shavum saying, I'm sure everyone here is cheering for Karatsev. Well, it'd just be nice to see the story continue. I don't want to see it uh, disappear. I want to see this story uh, grow. Well, good return from Djokovic. He doesn't want to have to keep meeting Djokovic every semi final. Oh, it's long, that one. Seems to uh, wind up a little bit, a bit like Medvedev on the wind yeah. up. A bit too much wind up and uh, powers it long. I mm, don't know. It's been working, mate. We can't really critique Aslan's style. <laughs> I think what he's been doing has been working perfect. Yeah. Um, it's early doors there anyway. I've been quite encouraged with some of the stuff I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Moving Djokovic sure. around. But a break point, he's going to have to save here again. Another one. <laughs> so soon. RS wants a button already. Oh, we might get the joker on well, here. Yeah, you may well get a joker in there. Second serve. And here, Shah saying, I can't get the, your Karatsev song out of my head. <laughs> well, hopefully it gets back in your head again today. Hopefully Karatsev. Oh, it's double fault. And oh, he's given away he's the double fault. And there we go. Djokovic breaks early doors here. Uh... Not what we wanted to see. But I'm not sure if they, are they giving the break, though? Mm, I think they're replaying the point, is it? I'm not sure if it's actually a break. I think they're replaying it. They're replaying the point here. <laughs> so we have gone for a premature break. Yeah, yeah you reversed Alan, that. He's going to get another serve at this. He gets first serve again as well. Oh, oh, he oh no. one, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we can't give Let's him another again. break, but we'll just give, no, we're not doing it again, but we'll give Joker his button, I think. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and there we 
go. Djokovic is back. Just early early good start with him here. Early break. Two love up. What's the problem, mate? It's just everything's continued from the last few matches he's played. It's only a break if you consolidate. There you go. Love 15. Aslan's looking like he's... He's just going to take a while to get into this for me. He's, he starts slow in a lot of his matches, don't forget. He doesn't start quick. So... And yeah. someone like Djokovic is not a good player to be starting slow against. He just warms up as you as you're going. Don't yeah. want to get that engine going. It's gonna be a tough exactly. player to peg back. Wildlife's disappointed, has feared far too many errors. Yeah, you can't say Djokovic has really done anything. Nah, nothing. Not really. He's just a run of the mill at the minute. Just getting it in. Just enough. Here we go. Djokovic. 15 all. Karatsev's going to have to do something special here to get this break back. Oh, he's got a second serve to look at. He doesn't want to go too crazy. Maybe just turn it the screw ever so slightly. Just play it just to the corners. Don't play it. Try and hit the lines just no. yet. Yeah, no, agreed, mate. And with the other semi final, do you see any chance for Tara Daniel? Or you reckon Berrettini is going to be all right? I think I've been Berrettini, quite impressed yeah. with him. And, mate, I don't know if you've noticed, but I had Berrettini in the final. I know. That's what many people yeah, did. I know. I just, Slightly he, predictable. He's the second seed, I believe. And but. still, he's not been playing well. That's why I didn't have him in. So yeah. you did I'm well not sure. To... It's predictable in a way because he's the second seed. You'd expect him to get there. But based off the bracket, and I've, I've had a look at a few other people's, not many people had him, I don't think. <laughs> and the question Chris Mears is saying is, how many games can Karatsev win? I would say under five. Ooh. Wow. That's pretty damning, actually, oh, from Chris. Harsh words from Chris Mir there. But he is the statistician on the channel, and he does know his stuff. Yeah, and there we go. He's got two game points here to consolidate the break. He has. Oh, it's a good return. Good return from Djokovic. Down the line, Karatsev. I think he's missed it again. He's yeah. just, he's, he doesn't have his angles right. It's long. And there we go. It's an easy consolidation for Novak Djokovic. Yeah, I mean, he's not found his range yet at all, has he, Karatsev? No. It's just uh, everything's flying long off the racket and uh, he needs to reel that in. I think he's trying to go too powerful. Just, just try and keep it in the court. Try and get in a rally a little bit. Don't know. Uh, what's going on? Should we uh, cut to John to find out what's going on in the Nadal match uh, yeah, right not? now? So, John, let us Hi, know. Guys. Hello, Hi, mate. guys. How's it going? Yeah, yeah right, mate. So, so I've, uh, I'm keeping abreast of both of them. I'm listening in to you with Aslan, but I'm keeping my eyes on the Rafa match. It's kind of bizarre listening to you guys talking about what's going on in Belgrade while I'm trying to watch this. It's fun. It's fun. So um, keeping you abreast of what's happening here, um, Karenia Buster's hanging in there, but he really is hanging in there. It's 5-2 to Nadal. They're just on the changeover at the moment. So Nadal is about to serve for the match. And apart from the wobble that Rafa had at the end of the first set, which I highlighted at the beginning, it's been fairly plain sailing, particularly in this second set. And I think for the Rafa fans out there, I think they can probably relax a little bit compared to what we saw at the beginning of the tournament when we saw more than a wobble or two from Rafa. Uh, he's been serving very well today and even the forehand has been out and about, if you like. So I think there's plenty to look forward to. And of course, should Rafa now close this out, um, we've got a pretty tasty final tomorrow. And I tell you what, I know we've got plenty of Aslan fans over, you know, watching you guys in Belgrade and understandably so, but that wouldn't be a bad Sunday. A final in Belgrade with Berrettini against uh, Novak followed, or with also Rafa against Tsitsipas in Barcelona. That would be a hell of a Sunday. Would do indeed, mate. Yeah, it's a bit of a, it's going to be really the finals you were expecting, but the ones that probably will bring the best out of uh, all the players there. So, We'll yeah. see. Karatsev still in it, mate. <laughs> We're going to try our best yeah. to cheer him on, mate. Saw, I saw the comment about the amount of games he's going to get. Well, fingers crossed he gets over the five threshold. Just but um, yeah, so at the moment. Right. So anyway, so Raf is about to, to serve for the match and um, I'll uh, I'll keep you posted should he close it out. Um, I think he probably will. Five, two up. Should be fine. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks for that, Thanks. John. Cheers, buddy. Right, back to this one. It's 15 love. Karatsev looking for his first game in this match so far. Djokovic seems 
Lucky is not really uh, that bothered so far. It's nothing's really troubled him. Oh, there he goes. Finally. Come on, Aslan. Big no. forehand there. And we've not, <laughs> we it's not been many winners in this match, no. to be fair. There's just been unforced errors off the yeah. off the racket of Karatsev. So it's refreshing just to see a ball pass one of them. Well, that's what he can do. And that's what he was doing the whole of that Dubai tournament and in uh, Australia as well. Here we go. Ooh, he's They're hitting in... through this a little bit more now. Oh, a great length on that. And it's long from Djokovic. And there you go. 40 love. Aslan Karatsev. Can we get our game to love on the board for the Russian? Mate, I know. Just, I, think, I think Chris is wrong today. I'm going to say it now. I think Chris Smith's got this all wrong. About oh. five. I think he's going to take more than five games. I'm confident in it as well. There we go. Let's see who's right. I'm definitely going over five games. <laughs> it's not there I'm not sure the odds won't be too uh, <laughs> great on that but... I reckon he takes a set I'm going to go one further then. Oh, I love it I love it JG bold in his predictions good so go. into, the, get net. Right there. into the net into the net it's a game to love come on come on <laughs> Here we go, Chris saying, if it's five, it's void. <laughs> Me and Chris have got our own little bet going on there. Mate, um, come on. This is what we want. We want to see this. If he can break him back now, we can summon the tennis gods to get Karatsev back into this match and we get that Karatsev button out. Come on, guys. If you are just joining us and you haven't liked the video yet, help us out. It would inspire us to press the Karatsev button as sooner rather than later. So we'll wait and see how he gets on in this Djokovic service game. Here we go, serving. Big oh, into the net. Ah, it's two cheap points, though. Cheap points yeah. he's given away. I don't mind that, though, because I can feel like we're seeing a few uh, of the peak, like, as, as Wild Live says, a couple of peak Karatsev shots here and there. Uh, we know how, how dominant he can be. We saw against um, Rublev in Dubai. Just played him off the court, wasn't he? Just too aggressive mm -hmm. for him. Rublev couldn't get a racket on it. He's going to have to play similar here today, but the difference is he's playing against someone who's probably the best defender ever to play tennis. Yeah, it's just like you be, you have to play an extra shot every time. Yeah. Uh, real tough. Shot or two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, the Huskies are out. The Huskies are out. They're trying to wheel Karatsev it through. <laughs> They're angry. They're Second getting serve. riled up, ready to attack Djokovic. Here we go. Second serve. Come on. Don't overcook it, though, the return. It's a double oh, fault. There we go. Djokovic, an uncharacteristic double fault from him. It can happen to the best of us. I say the best of us. I say I'm joining him on a <laughs> double. So I hit 10 times more double faults than Djokovic in a match. We go. Midfield Marshal saying, I wonder if I had Ben had Djokovic to win in Barcelona. Oh, I did jest in the draw preview that I picked him to win it just for you. Midfield uh, Maestro, I feel like he's always gunning for you, Ben. He's just got you on his locks and he just doesn't want to let you go ever. I, I played into it. I played into his uh, narrative uh, during the draw preview and you were like, what? <laughs> when I said Djokovic. Oh, to yeah, win I remember. In Barcelona. That. Exactly. He, didn't, he probably didn't watch it, see? I only wanted to watch the Belgrade one to see me to put Djokovic as the winner. And Wildlife saying, nice to see Double Fultovic make an appearance. <laughs> well, I'm hoping this match comes to life a little bit. Yeah, Both it's not players quite, it's been... not quite like the one earlier, was it? <laughs> no, I think we've just watched Sinner, Sister Pass earlier. <laughs> Go check that if you've not already. What a tennis match against them two yeah. players. Honestly, it was phenomenal. This one's not lived up to it yet, but they're still, I think, a long time left to go in it, hopefully. Here we go. Slice into the net. And here we go. 30 all. Come on. Roar. The roar of the lion is coming. Come on. Let's get this break back. Well, why Why can't he? I can't see why not. Djokovic hasn't filled me with much confidence no, either. Neither I know we well. don't have stats for the unforced errors count, but I, I don't think we've seen many winners. What, we've seen two winners the whole match? <laughs> Ratsev's done one. I think Djokovic's done one, probably. Yeah. I think Kratzer might even have more. Uh, another unforced error. 
I don't know if you call that as an error or an unforced error, to be honest. There's a few people watching from the stands there. They're all spread out. Uh, yeah, I think that's... Out. No, that's Djokovic's family. I think that's his kid there as well. Okay. He's not even didn't look that bothered, did he? He wasn't even watching. <laughs> Just playing football or something on the terrace. Oh, big serve. Big, big return. Djokovic into the net. It's juice. Oh, good return from Karatsev there. Djokovic. <sighs> a big Deep breath. breath mate. Yeah. That's it. And I think we need something. We need a big <laughs> rally here something. to sort of excite this match because it's tricky right now to really get infused for pretty boring tennis. Yeah, I mean, there's not been really any rallies. It's a fault. No. Lots of faults and lots of unforced errors so far. This isn't what we uh, come to well, know and love from either of these players. Yeah, we've got Munster there saying 6 1 first set. Well, we'll see. See if Karatsev can crush that in this game. Big return down the line. Djokovic cross court. It's wide. Break point. Karatsev. Here he goes. Come on. Aslan Karatsev. I can just hear it, mate. It's coming. It's close now. Come on. Look at him with his chain on there and his uh, standard blue, the same as the... Mate, one thing the I would say, the Russians love a chain. Yeah, they do. I wonder if that's for other sports as well, but all the Russian tennis players, they love to have a good ta chain. Mm. I know Zverev's sort of not really Russian, but he's token. got... He is sort of he pretty much is yeah big sir oh it's a four he's got a second serve second serve it's going to be can aslan break back here it's a big big moment this Djokovic not serving well right now no nope. can't find a first serve at the minute second serves in to the backhand Step. of karatsev it's gone deep karatsev steps inside oh, oh and he misses no. a simple backhand <laughs> poor and we're back at Juice and quickly we're just going to bring in John because I've got heard some big news over in Barcelona. Yeah, Rafa's done it, but I can see you at a pretty dramatic moment, uh, arguably in your match. But uh, no such drama here. Rafa comfortably through 6-3, 6-2 and uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Awesome. Indeed. Think he stands a chance with Sitter Pass? I think he has a chance on clay. Rafa's always got a chance. I know Sitsipas is kind of the man in form, but I think this will fill both Rafa and also his fans full of um, uh, confidence today. Awesome. Oh. Thanks for that, John. We'll get Cheers, back to this buddy. one. And here we go. We're in a oh, rally now. A good, rally. good rally at that. It's the first good rally we've had. <laughs> And uh, Djokovic sort of turning Ooh. the screw a little bit. It's hard bit. to know if it's going long or not because the camera angle is so bad. We can't really see. Oh, it's wide. But Djokovic misses that. It's going to be another break point opportunity. And Djokovic is angry with that. Really angry. His son won't be happy to see his dad screaming on court. Good play from Karatsev. He just hung in there. That's why I said. Stop yep. going for everything so soon. Because Djokovic can throw out errors as well. He's not playing well either. Don't be the one who makes the unforced error. I think that's the key in this match. Let them do it. So here we go. Another break point. Big, big moment. Serve down the tee. Good return. Djokovic backhand. Karatsev backhand. Djokovic backhand. Karatsev backhand. Cross court. They're going. He turns inside out. Forehand. Djokovic scrapes it back in. Karatsev. Oh! Big one winner. Come on. Go. Come, Come on. on, Aslan. Come on. <laughs> Ben's absolutely. The lion roars here in Belgrade today. He is not going to be denied. We're back on serve. Aslan Karatsev. Yes, come on, son. We've got Shavab saying Ben went Kong mode. I thought you was going to rip the T-shirt off at one stage and start like swinging it around your head or something. But you'd think Karatsev's just won the match. But I can only confirm he, we're on serve. Djokovic leading 3-2. And uh, not much has really happened. <laughs> Mate, just for people be, joining us. <laughs> let's be fair though, Karatsev 
has actually hit the most winners in the match. So I don't think Djokovic has really done anything. He just stayed in it and Kratzev has hit all the unforced errors yep. and now all the winners. So, mate, I don't know. It just sort of erupted inside me. I just loved it. Come on. <laughs> We've got just... RS there. Bed went crazy. <laughs> Kyla, they've lost their minds. Uh, <laughs> Midfield Maestro, that song deserves a Grammy nomination. Apparently, Why not? Went... Djokovic there looks like he's meditating in his chair. Apparently we went Kong mode, apparently. <laughs> and then, uh, so I said, I got com- that one up. This commentary is definitely not biased. <laughs> well, yeah, we but I that- think it's allowed. We're allowed to be biased if it's Aslan Karatsev, Come on, surely. It's, like, it's an exception to the rule. He is. Come on. And that's why most people are tuning in. Diamond if, in you the are, if you are loving it, Come on, guys, give us a like on this video. Give it for Aslan and hope he comes back into this match. Let's go. Anyway, it's not a break unless he consolidates it's here. It's true. It's true. So it's <laughs> that celebration <laughs> will be a big waste if Djokovic is just a break right now. But we're in a rally there and it's another oh, point for Karatsev. Fifteen love. Come on, it's big. I'm just here to prove Chris Mir wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Chris saying uh, Djokovic is doing some PR for the tournament. He wants Aslan next year as well. <laughs> Probably does, mate. I'm going to see if we can get a, uh, his song piped in over the tannoy. Speak to Djokovic's people. <laughs> mate, Djokovic's face, if you was to do something like that. <laughs> Watch hacking. his dance, just look it up. <laughs> I've ha- ha- get some hackers to hack into the scoreboard and the tannoy. And so every Ooh, time. Ace. Yeah, mate. Look First at this. of the match. He's roaring now. Look at this. The crocodile ain't so snappy right now, is he? Here we go. Karatsev. Big serve needed. Oh, four. And I can confirm, I think we both had this matchup in the draw, did we not? I think we did so, that draw yeah. preview. Yeah. I don't think either of us had the bottle, though, to put Karatsev through. We both went for Djokovic. Well, it's double fault there. Oh, I guess this can happen. This can happen. He is uh, prone to a double fault here and there. Djokovic has had one as well, though. Don't forget. Yeah. Oh, God. This is, he does uh... show signs of nervousness. I remember against Rublev, there was a moment where I think he lost the second set, didn't he, somehow, when it was all over him. You're just never safe against Djokovic. This is the problem. The level has to be so high for so long. Uh, or his level has to drop. It's another race oh, no. then. <laughs> Two aces oh. so far against Whoa. Djokovic in Serbia. Whoa. And um, you've it got... A... Well, Live saying, how sweet would it be if Karatsev was to beat Djokovic in Serbia? Mele is saying, this is like a dream. It doesn't actually feel real. If people would... Like, if you would have said to people last year, Karatsev's going to be in the tournament in the Belgrade Open and he's going to be the third seed Playing against Novak Djokovic, <laughs> and there's going to be a geezer. Oh, there's going to no, be. It's, it's it. Yes. Gonna, here's another race, Three and he holds. So that's a consolidation. <laughs> yes. And, and there is, you go. Ben has officially lost his marbles <laughs> and he's getting so excited. Three <laughs> games on the bounce for Aslan Karatsev. He was three love down. It's now 3-3. Three, three. Djokovic is on the ropes. He's rattled here in his home country in Serbia, in Belgrade, in front of his family. Karatsev is pulling his trousers down right now. <laughs> oh, Can he wait, stop it? They're free all. It's free all. <laughs> he's not done anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's won that point, though. Again, love 15 now. Now he actually mate, leads in the match. <laughs> there's, he's rattled. I'm telling you, he's rattled, mate. The lion is is going to eat him alive right now. If it, Djokovic, that little crocodile, is crocodile in the water. The lion's going to rip him out of the water and devour him. <laughs> oh, second serve, is it? Oh, this is it. Second serve. And RS saying this is the best serving from Aslan this whole week. Yeah, some of the best serving I've seen actually for a while. Yeah. Aces, mate, love that. On clay, mate, it's difficult. It's to, yeah, it's hard to hit, double, hit aces. No, it's not. Sorry, it wasn't. A, it, was a it was my fault. It wasn't a first. Oh, okay. it, was a, it was a let the first one. Oh, I got too excited then. <laughs> You've given me false hope. Yeah, that's my fault. Here we go. That's oh, going to be another a let, let set, mate. It's all going. It's 
tense. He's tense. You can feel the momentum shifting a little bit. I must Mate, admit. Three games in a row. Love 15. Two lets on serve. Mate, on the second is... serve. Oh, Chris Smear saying Noel's body language. It looks like he's had a big lunch. Oh, God, what a, a second serve that is. Oh, but it's long. Oh, it's long. And it's, it's love 30 day. now. Come he's turning on. this around. <laughs> Come on. He's giving us something to cheer about. And that's the main thing that we wanted. Chris Smear, this, your prediction could be gone in a set, mate. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Charles saying, Ben, do some push-ups to calm down. <laughs> nah, mate. I've been saving myself for this. Ben saying, Ben must have a lot of money on Karatsev. He doesn't, I can assure you. He's just <laughs> no. very excited. <laughs> mate, just to... I think I'm still uh, tanked up from the beers from last match. <laughs> I've been continuing on. I the continued peak. on from uh, half 12 earlier. So I think we're still we're four hours into the uh, beers now. Anyway, it's 15.30 so... here. It's big, still on big, serve, big, remember. It's a big, big point here. Big point. Big point. It's going serious now, are you, Ben? Yeah. Oh, good return here. Djokovic goes centre. Karatsev down the line. Djokovic down the line. Karatsev cross court backhand. He's Ooh. gone. Oh, it's a good length on that yeah, from Djokovic. Yeah, well played, Djokovic. Well played. It looked slightly long, but it just I think it must have clipped the line. Right. Good depth. <laughs> Yeah, that was a very good length on that shot from Djokovic. He looks very serious right now, pacing around the baseline. Karatsev with his patented uh, way he receives serve. It's very unique. He just holds his hands like up near his face, doesn't he? It's a yeah, bit yeah. like different. Don't see many other players do that. Yeah, it's unique. Uh, that's the one thing I noticed from him when he was... Uh, well, when just I first that, for me, no. it's the calves. I see the calves <laughs> first. <laughs> like, the camera's terrible, but I can still see them calves. They're like popping. My... <laughs> like, in my eyes. <laughs> it's got like uh, <laughs> Popeye, the calves. <laughs> it's like the... It's like the uh, he has a, a tin of spinach and it goes... Oh, oh a we're the Karatsev! Look at that. It's Great like... point now. He's turned this on its head big time. Mate. From three love down, he brought it back to three. Well, now he's got a break point on Djokovic's serve. <laughs> I must admit, Djokovic has not looked good at all. He's just not I mean, looked good. I've even thought of the perfect like animation for Karatsev. He could have like a, uh, a an animation of you know like when Popeye has the spinach and his arms go, his calves go instead, like like go even bigger, <laughs> mate. That's perfect animation. We've got a lot for him to be fair. There we go. Break point now. Oh, that's a great serve. serve is so good. really good. Yeah, so clutch. And yeah. he saved now two break points. Um, yeah. I, know, I think that's in total. It's two breaks saved in total this match. Right. So back to Juice. Oh. We've got Van we saying, Karatsev is a legitimate dark horse for the, of ATP finals. <laughs> it was too soon to say, really. Uh, I want to see his uh, performance at the other Grand Slams this year. That's what I want to see. Oh, good shot. Uh, serve, rather. Oh, down the line. Djokovic got him on the run. Always yeah, left well played. Well and played. He's done well uh, here to turn this round. Seeing a little bit better tennis now from Djokovic as well. Kind of forcing the idea, playing a bit more, more aggressive as well. But, mate, you've got to be very infused. I know you are, as a Karatsev fan. He's know. doing everything right so far. Really. Yeah, I know. But it's the only thing I would be a bit disappointed is, is the... The poor returning at times. I've noticed he keeps oh, making some one. unforced errors. Which too is soon, mate. Look at that. As soon as yeah. you say it, the commentator's curse. He does a great one, and Djokovic forced into an error. Mate, it's all it's all meant to be. <laughs> You're just <laughs> still part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what me. I say, guys. Why we've got 170 people here watching this match with us. Uh, it's on serve, free of juice on Djokovic's serve right now. If you haven't already, please leave us a like on the video. It really would help us out. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We're going to be bringing you final action tomorrow for both Barcelona and Belgrade. Yeah, I was going to say, Djokovic serving so well today. Uh, not trying to influence this match at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gone down the middle of the court there. Aslam, great shot. Djokovic scampers around there. He's got it back in play. Aslan goes for the smash. He's done the smash. It's a He's passive one. It's a no, passive had to, smash. Had to, had to. Had to keep it in. Oh, oh poor. That's annoying. 
I think he could have put a little bit more on the smash. I know you say you he had to. Nah, but it was it was one of those ones. He was at the baseline nearly. It's dangerous to go for them from. It was mid court. I know what you mean. You can mess them up. Yeah, it, I reckon the way he, he goes wild on stuff, he could easily mess it up. And like yeah, you saw yeah. there, just messed up the forehand. God, the crowd love that. They really are supporting Djokovic here today. I'm not to surprised. be expected, of course. How can no one there be supporting Karatsev? Come on. Uh, I want to. Mate, see... He's probably not a big name to anyone, like he is to us. That's why. Oh, what honest. a great return that was, though. And he's staying in this rally. Djokovic is playing great shots, but Karatsev is well in this. Oh, part. he's painting the lines. Yeah, but Karatsev's still in it. It's a drop shot. He's into the net. Oh, oh. unlucky. But well played, Djokovic. This is what a lot better rally. now. We're wow. now starting to see a competitive match between the two of them, you... where both of them are playing serious tennis. Well, you're not surprised, though, because I thought any. I thought he was going to finish him off in all that rally a few yeah. times. He Good stayed fair. in it. He did it. well to stay in it. Many times as well. And uh, I think this match is now, from when we were talking about <laughs> 10 minutes ago, we said this is the worst match we've ever seen. There was only unforced error. Oh, we called it boring because it did seem a bit boring. It was so stop-start, error, error, error. Uh, nothing really exciting. It sprung to life, mate, since we've done that. And ever since Karatsev really got back on serve and uh, was forcing the issue in that fifth game, it's come to life. It's been brilliant. Yeah. I'm enjoying let's, this now. Let's get the words, uh, see what John Silk maybe thinks of the uh, the whole match. I know that he's been uh, watching Rafa tie things up there. What do you make of this match, John? Well, I think you've certainly stolen my thunder in the last 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> there was, there was, it seemed as though Barcelona, all eyes were on Barcelona until about 20 minutes ago when, when Rafa basically uh, tidied things up here and Basically, all the drama is happening in Belgrade. And I have to say, a certain person who predicted um, five games for Aslan today might have to be eating his words very soon. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. I'm hoping we're seeing at least five games in this first set. That's what yeah, I'm listen, I mean, listen, also, I'm, I'm more than happy to, to have that drama taken away. I think there's going to be plenty of drama in Barcelona tomorrow. So... Probably uh, all eyes on Belgrade for the next hour, and fingers crossed, um, Aslan can keep going and, and force this to at least uh, uh, to a three-set uh, match. Indeed. Well, we've got Chris here saying break time for Djokovic, so not looking good if you're a Karatsev fan out there. Well, I mean, that's, I... The, that's the fear, isn't it? Sorry to interrupt you there, Ben, but that's the fear right. that, that this little, little moment that Aslan has had in the last 15, 20 minutes... Uh, will go to waste in the next couple of games, as we know that Nole can... When it gets this to that huge. business end... This when is a huge back. game because he won three games. No, uh, Djokovic. Then he lost three games. Now he's going to be looking to win another three. So the, the the balance shift again. He needs to stop that. So we go even keel, one on one, one on one again. That's what yeah. needs to happen here. If he doesn't, this set's done. I think if he loses this. this yeah, one anyway, let's guarantee. get back to the match because Karatsev serving. Talk to you in a bit, John. Yes, John. Uh, and that was a really good forehand there for Karatsev. Nice winner. 15 love now. Oh, made myself big then. <laughs> oh, so what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> See some beady eye staring at <laughs> this big Karatsev face in your face. Oh, oh come on, fault. Aslan. What are you doing? <sighs> and we've got Jeremiah in saying, yes, Karatsev. Chris Mir obviously said break time for Jocko. RS saying this match is lit. Come on. Uh, and uh, we got business end. No, not yet. Come on, Almost. you know it's for all, Melez. Come on, yeah. And wildlife correcting you there. Not until four four. Good serve this time. Great serve. Great thirty fifteen. Cheap points is what you need. Yeah, I know we spoke about it earlier, but do you see Tara Daniel causing an upset and beating Berrettini? I would like to say no, but there anything can sort of happen. I'm going to nah, say no. For me, I think Ber Berrettini is going to be all right. I, I, I reckon we'll see Berrettini. Um, maybe Karatsev Berrettini final tomorrow. I think he's back <laughs> enough, Berrettini, to uh, to cause yeah. pro enough problems for someone like Taro Daniel. Taro Daniel. Yeah, I, I watched him against Cecinato. I thought he was actually quite good. Why well, had Cecinato to beat him? So oh, right. uh, uh, I actually thought that he wasn't going to be back at the races yet. I still thought that Berrettini is still going to be in a slump, but he's not. He's changed. So typical, I would pick him, and then he 
decides to not be in the slump anymore. Anyway, second so, serve, he's got it in. He steps inside, backhand, it's poor again. And we've seen this a lot, actually. As Although we say Karaps have done quite well in, in certain spells, that backhand, which is short in the court, he just keeps hitting it into the net. I've seen it maybe five, six, seven times. Ah, oh, I hate this. 30 all. This is like the do Mate, or this die. Is make or break. This is make or break now for Karatsev. And what I want to know, guys, do we have many Djokovic uh, fans in the chat cheering him on? We know we've got Chris Mir there as well. He wants he wants Djokovic, it seems. You've got Fabiola here saying Vamos Djokovic. Big forehand is good. He's got him into the net. Djokovic is scampering. He's keeping it in play. Is it going to stay in? It is. It's a big smash. Come on. Come on. That's Huge. what he should have done last time. You're yeah. right. Yeah. You're right, JG. I'm mate, wrong. he can do it. He's good. He's got brilliant overheads. I've seen him do it in, um, I remember, in the Challenger in the Czech Republic in Prague last year. I'm just really worried, good though. at them. I'm just but worried that he's going to... He did that from deeper than, than, than the last one. I know, one. I know. But I'm just getting... So I get soon ang so much anxiety watching it because Djokovic just makes you play the extra shot. Oh, what a oh, serve. Good serve. Good return. Oh. I think he made it, did he? Or was oh. it just wide? I think it's just wide, wide. yeah. Unlucky. Went oh too much. That was I amazing. It was serve. the right shot. It was the right shot. Yeah, but just too much. It there. Too much. Too much. Yeah, it's bad as well because it was a big moment. He could have been at the business end, but now he's locked into juice. Obviously, Djokovic leading 4 3, but we're on serve here. We are on serve here. Oh, it's oh, going to be a second serve second as well. Second serve. We've got James going, come on, Aslan. There's a lot of Aslan support here. Oh, good return. Gone back and... Oh, uh, it is oh, out. It's, it's going to be a break point. Was fractionally out. Djokovic there just pointing to the clay. It was out. Um, and I don't know. We've got some people <laughs> questioning uh, uh, Karatsev's style here. Wild Love saying, I'm not convinced Aslan's all or nothing approach is sustainable. Well, it's not. I kind, of, really. I kind of know what you mean in terms of it's not really sustainable. It but isn't. if he can, mate, why he's riding this wave, let's just keep going with it because he seems to be pretty consistent with this approach. So I wouldn't change it now. No. Oh, he's, he's made a name for himself by being all or nothing. So just keep going with it. That's what I would say. Back to Juice, saves the break. Alex saying, no Djokovic fans here. There seems to be a lot of Aslan fans. We've got Saeed going Aslan. First serves in. Oh, yes. Great serve. Yeah, nice three point. He's going to have a game point again to force it to four all. Oh, come on. This is big. This is huge for this first set. If you're just tuning in right now, he was three love down. He came back to three, three, and now we're on serve. Uh, if you haven't liked the video yet, like it right now. Oh, he's missed the first serve. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe right now. And if you haven't... And if, you haven't, if you haven't opened a beer yet, do so right now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. He got out. He gets out. Of it. Djokovic on! makes the unforced error. Let's and go. Aslan Karatsev. Yes. Four, and four. Uh, with that, it is also a business end. <laughs> Got everyone shouting for the business end. Soren's here. Business end, surely. Melez, business end. Uh, yeah. But, mate, Karatsev's doing well right now. And Djokovic's gone for a drop shot. Karatsev comes in, goes the wrong way. They're Did angry at you, mate. People, are, the people who want this uh, <laughs> have never seen people call for a business end so much. Have you? No, mate. <laughs> but that was so bad. That was so poor from Karatsev. I don't know if you mate. caught any of that. It was a drop shot. Easy one. He had the whole court to go into. He went the same way. What are you doing? 
He has the tendencies, though. This is the problem. He overthinks things sometimes. I just gifted him a free point. Could have been a valuable one as he well. Does it, does it, though. He does it. But we still can't help but love him. Good into the Djokovic backhand. Opens up the court. Goes centre. Needs to... Well, oh, yeah, he's some hard hitting hand. now. Oh, oh, great shot from Djokovic. Shot. Well played. Really good, that is. Really good. As Wildlife said, what was Karatsev doing? I don't know. That was terrible. One of the worst shots I've seen this last week. <laughs> I still can't go over it. Uh, you've got John saying, uh, it's Friday, 21st of June, 2021. Aslan has just forced a fifth set against Rafa in the French Open semi-final. How is JG feeling? That's a good question. I think it would be very mixed feelings, to be fair. Are we, on one hand, wanting Rafa to go on the, and, and win the whole thing. But then I'll be just super proud of Aslan and what he's what he's been able to do. And with that, I'm proud of that shot because what a return. Yeah. Fires a return winner past Djokovic there. Indeed. <sighs> Come on. This is big. This is a big point right now. Djokovic, not out of sorts. Mate, I, keep, I, I hate that. to keep going back to that one point, but this should be 15-30 right now. If Karatsev had a bit of a better tennis brain, it would be 15-30. Do you reckon the, sh the shadow that's suddenly casting across the court is having an effect on anyone? No. Okay. <laughs> at least we can. Look at, look at Djokovic's shadow. It's pretty mad. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's huge. <laughs> it's like a giant serving. <laughs> I can't look at anything else now. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. It's quite cool when he does the service action. Yeah, I like it, mate. It's quite cool when you oh, see him. Oh, oh. Had good shape to it. Unlucky. Djokovic looks a bit, bit frustrated. He's complaining again. I'm not sure who he's who he's shouting at. Maybe one of the coaches. Uh, 40-15 now. He's got a few Chris game Mir points. Chris Smear jumping in there with uh, saying Djokovic to win the 10th game. 2.27. Obviously, our expert tips are there. People who don't know, yeah. Chris Smear. And if you want to see more of his tips, head over to the Discord. He posts, well, several every single day. So, And they're very good, I must admit. Oh, I want a shot down the line from Karatsev. Good return again from Djokovic. He's gone down the line. It's wide. Yep. And there you go. 40-30. Karatsev, some great return in here today. Uh, it's up there on uh, Djokovic level on some of them. Yeah, I'd have to agree, mate. It's just the pace he gets them back with. I think this clay court's helping him out a little bit more than the hard courts were, to be honest. He's able to see the serves maybe a little bit quicker. Well, the serves aren't quicker, but he's seeing them like with more time, let's say. I yeah. thought he said that the wrong way. Oh, that's good from Djokovic. Good angle. He's opened oh, up the court. Point. Yeah, but he needs to hit it flatter to be able to get Karatsev out the point. Karatsev, look how flat he hits it. Look at oh. that down the line. And Djokovic, three meters behind the baseline. Come he opens on. the court. Oh, what a Come on. on. That's it. <laughs> Mate, that was that was sick. I must admit, that was so Mate. good. See how the power differential between the two, the way they Mate, he it. meant that meant a lot to him as well. He's, he's yeah. full of confidence. He's playing with a lot of confidence. Mate, that this was is exciting tennis. Really exciting. We're at four all deuce. This is huge right now. This is absolutely huge. Djokovic cannot afford to miss a first serve right now. It's in. Good oh. return. It's onto the baseline. Oh, it's nearly long. It's st still in. Djokovic being pegged back. It's great angle from Karatsev. Great angle from Djokovic. Down the line. Oh! Djokovic's got to get there. It's break point, Karatsev. Come on. Come on, Saslan. Come on now. What an Nostromia. angle that was. That was so crafty, mate. That was so crafty. And the other one, he took all the pace off it. Djokovic couldn't get there. Mate. Look, the crowd loving it. Look the at them. They're loving Karatsev. Karatsev. <laughs> This is it. The Serbian fans have turned on Djokovic. They're now Karatsev fans. You've seen it here first. It's the watching the stream, time. maybe. You've got Austin <laughs> saying clutch moment. It was Man. break point now. Let's all come focus on. on this match right now. Oh, come on. Big serve. Good return. Djokovic backhand. Aslan backhand. Down the line. <laughs> He's missed it. He's broken him. Come on. Let's go, Aslan. <laughs> Yes, come Mate. on, boy! 
<laughs> Unbelievable. I can't believe what's happening here. Djokovic, free love up. He's Karatsev's turned the match on its head. He's now serving for this first set and it's been fully deserved. It has been incredible. Some of the winners he's pulling out. Djokovic is defending well. Karatsev just a bit too much at the moment. Uh, oh. Chris Mir saying Djokovic's movement so poor. I think it's. I think you're being harsh. I think Karatsev's moving him around really nah, well. Let's not talk to Chris Mir. Under five games, and what is the game title right now for Aslan Karatsev? I believe it's five. So any more than one more game, Chris Mir's prediction is out the window. So. Uh, mate, I'm pumped for Aslan right now. How well is he playing? And how has he turned this around? He looked like he's a different man. Mate, more what's importantly, happened? what I want to know as well, as much as RS, what's Ben going to do if Karatsev <laughs> takes the first set? <laughs> is that T-shirt coming off? That's what we want to know. <laughs> We've got oh RS God. saying Ben's going to go in Godzilla mode if Aslan wins the set. Mate, John Silk, Djokovic looking agitated. Yeah, visibly agitated there as he sits down. Um, Would you not be more agitated, though, the fact that it got to break point and your own country are all cheering for Aslan Karatsev? Everyone was clapping Karatsev well, to look at break. this. Brad's saying Serbians cheering for Karatsev. Novak, am I a joke to you? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Here we go. This is a huge, though. It's not a break unless you consolidate, guys. Look at that winner! Winner, winner, winner! Karatsev! Come on. So good. Mate, Three points hit. right now from this first set. I'm not even going to speak because I don't want to jinx anything he's doing <laughs> yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, no, neither. We'll talk about it if he can close yeah, yeah, out yeah. this set. But this is huge. One of the biggest consolidations of his career. <laughs> Mate, this is huge. Come on. That, that, that shadow has moved from... The tram lines on the left hand side. Oh, another oh, winner! <laughs> oh, come on. The, the, one, the one thing I would say there, I thought Djokovic could have got there. I, maybe nah. I am kind of thinking with what Chris Mears saying. Maybe his movement is slightly off because the Djokovic I've seen over the years, mate, he gets right. there. Or was he it hit, too good? He you hit the line both times. Yeah, there was no That's power the, in that one, mate. It, yeah, but he was defeated. He just saw it hit the line and he didn't bother to run for it. Oh, Great big serve. First serve. Big forehand. He's into the net. Oh, oh no. Ooh, that's unlucky. It clips the net cord and deceives Karatsev. Just bobbles over his racket. And we're at 30-15. Two points away. Uh, a point off Djokovic for uh, bad sportsmanship there for hitting the net. Well, it's not his fault, is it? I know. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, I don't I like... You, I, thought, I, I don't know what you... I'm I don't know if you've become too biased or uh, not. The, the point, the, those type of points can change matches. That's all that worries yeah. me right now. Agreed. Oh, second no. Serve. Second serve. Oh. He was saying, saying, wow, I've just woken... I've woke back up and this is happening. Yeah, it's not a dream. This is real life. Man, I think I'm getting too excited. I'm getting too sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> mate, you should watch this stream back and then you'll know. <laughs> I know, mate. Oh, no. What a shot from Djokovic. Oh, it's down the middle. Correct, He's staying in this somehow. He's hanging in. Oh, Djokovic nah, has got too him. good. Oh. Well played, Novak. 30 all now. Oh, these fair weather fans, they just now all over Djokovic just because he's winning. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> We've got Melez saying, Karatsev token, maybe? No, come on. How dare you, Melez? Get out of the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in the chat. <laughs> Don't get out of the chat. Right, so, <laughs> that ill. Stop pressing my buttons. It's a big Oh, pass. no, no. That's the one thing I didn't want. I wanted a first serve there. It's going to be a second one. I can't watch. Don't. That's in. Good. He's got it in. Oh, it's into the net. It's going to be a break point opportunity what are you doing? now. What are you doing? And it's the backhand, isn't it? The backhand of Karatsev, certainly not as uh, strong a shot as the forehand. He seems to have a lot more control. This is like it's Karatsev's match to win or lose. 
He can hit the winners or he hits the errors. Yeah, agreed. This is what's going to ultimately define Aslan Karatsev. These big moments here, what can he do? He's facing a break point now against the world number one in Belgrade. He gets the first serve in. <sighs> into the it's... rally here. You're going, oh, I think he's gone too long. I think he has. Yeah. And there we go. Djokovic has broken straight back five all. What now. are you doing, Aslan? I'm just giving. Chris Smears in. Tenth game paid out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good tip there, Chris. Yeah, nice. And, uh, back on serve here. But I still would be encouraged from what I've seen from Karatsev. He's turned this one around. He's definitely getting eaten into the Novak Djokovic serve. Um, if he breaks here, the charge it's is tough. back on. <laughs> it's so tough, mate. It's so annoying. Like, so, look at the that shadow now. Look, that's been 10 minutes and the shadow has moved from one side of the court and it's nearly covered the full court now. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that affects the players, but I think it must do a little bit. I don't know. I think when they're this like experienced, it probably well, does like that shot. Yeah, you mean that's great experience. <laughs> like, For Novak rolled... Djokovic, mate, he's been in situations probably <laughs> a bit more challenging than the, than, a, than a shadow moving around the pitch. <laughs> I don't know. The mate. court. What was that shot from Karatsev? Got... It's a tricky one. You got RS saying Aslan was thinking too much. Uh, Jesus Christ is <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> He's saying, <laughs> anyone can answer me. Where are you watching live? Um, I think on our Discord, maybe you can watch it live. So go check that out there. People in usually heaven. stream it there. But if not, a gambling account or tennis TV. Or God will have the answer. Or <laughs> Jordan <laughs> saying, Amazon Prime, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> So look Jesus, the, Jesus has been answered. Look to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and your answers will be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's wide. It's wide. Karatsev's back in. He's got a little sniff. Apparently it's on Eurosport as well. There you go. It's everywhere. John Silk's asking, where's Jesus Christ watching from? <laughs> Jerusalem, maybe? Bethlehem. <laughs> Don't, Don't know. know. <laughs> he either. Either. <laughs> oh here we go he's, re he's replied he's watching from heaven <laughs> <laughs> what's it like up there man <laughs> does, Kar does Karatsev win this match <laughs> oh good shot he's reset this rally quite oh, nicely good actually. little moon ball there it's it's worked. It. it worked I like that as well Mooney is he going to pull a Mooney 30 all now yeah, Jesus Christ said the Wi-Fi is quite slow up there. <laughs> That's got to be my comment of the day. <laughs> We've got Miller and right? <laughs> Jesus is everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, they've not got that super fast broadband up in heaven oh, yet. Oh, what great a return. return. Yes. Down the line, Djokovic, he's on the stretch. Karatsev is there for the win. Oh, oh he's no. in no man's land. He's he's taking a back step. Oh, no. that's disappointing. That's Get... just, I don't think, I, did you know what? I don't think he should Why? have come to the net. Why did he go he in? To. No. Why? It wasn't a good enough approach shot. And that comes back yet again to the tennis IQ. You look at the like of someone like a sitter pass. He doesn't make that mistake. It was the doubles of him, though. The doubles man in him wanted to get into the net. Well, he's a doubles champion now, him and Rublev, well, remember? the Qatar, Qatar champ in doubles. Anyway, game point now for Djokovic <laughs> to get to number six. Ah, oh, God. This doesn't spell good things if he wins this game, I tell you. So, a very like uh, conservative serve there. Well, they're playing it very central. It juice. Come on. Yeah, just stay in this rally, I think. Don't let Djokovic bully. Or he's he's, the next he's pushing it to the backhand, isn't he? Every time now. There yeah. we go. Karatsev gets in the forehand. That's what no. he's going to want more of. He steps into that one as well. <laughs> Karatsev's forehand scares me. I tell you. Oh, he's, got, he's stepping in. No, he's gone the same way as Djokovic. He's oh, gone the volley. Oh, what a volley. There he is. There's our doubles champ. <laughs> there he is. And we're at Juice now. Five oh, all no. Juice. It's the business end of all business ends. And Karatsev's forehand is scary, I must admit. What a, 
Mate, it's as soon as he it's, turns. It's, it, that's like I've said this to a lot of people, and people just don't. They think I'm just getting delusional. When Karatsev's firing these forehands and he's not missing, he can beat anyone in the world. I'll strongly believe that. And you can see now the world number one. He can't deal with them when he's really pushing them around. No. Whether it's sustainable enough or whether he can do it for a whole match, that's another oh. debate altogether. Is that in? It is in. And there yes, we go. Yes, it was on return. <laughs> It's break point, Chris Smear. Where are you now? <laughs> to be fair, Chris did call the tenth game, so he's, done, he's yeah. made a bit of he's made a he bit said, of dollar. He said seven five six love. <laughs> I'm not having it. I'm not having it. He's just pressing buttons, mate, on me. I know it. I know it. Mate, Aslan's ridiculous. Yeah, and I agree with Henrik there. When the backhand is on, it's also special. You were taught a lot to of serve. Them. He's playing it down the middle, Djokovic. That's a sign of him being shaky. He doesn't want to go for it. Doesn't want oh, to go for it. It's it! Come on, Aslan! He breaks! Hey. <laughs> Gotta have go. it. Come on! That's it. It happened again. It's happened again. It's happened again. Hopefully, this time, though, he serves it out. <laughs> oh, he's looking. He, remember, very... he was in this same situation about 10 minutes ago, serving out for the first set, wasn't <sighs> able to do it. At the very worst, <laughs> though, he can assure himself a tie break in this first set. So it's been a very encouraging first set from for Karatsev. I just hope he does one more step. And serves this one out. Please, a few aces here. That's it. I want to say thanks, everyone, for joining us for this epic matchup. It's Aslan Karatsev. He's serving it out once more for this first set. If you haven't liked this video, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button because we want to have you joining us for the final tomorrow. We're in Barcelona. We're in Belgrade. We're going to be bringing you both of them. And God, we just want to know how this match is going to play out first because I think you sort of know who I want to be in the final. <laughs> one thing I would say, why is Djokovic so deep on the baseline? He's standing about five metres behind the baseline Karatsev and he's still pressure. getting overpowered. Let's Karatsev be honest, pressure. Karatsev right now is overpowering Zzz. Djokovic at, in Belgrade Zzz. on clay. Zzz. It's incredible. Zzz. Let's keep it, <laughs> mate. Let's calm for this. He is need, overpowering them, though. That's a fact. I just need. I just need this one game. We're just gonna have to keep it stum for a bit because I'm worried. Oh, great backhand! Oh backhand. no, oh. <laughs> he shanked one. He's hooked it wide, and there we go. Oh, this is just... very saying. Just change the flag. No, I'm gonna have the Serbian flag. I think it looks nice to have the the, the two flags there. <laughs> I think it looks nice. We've sort of got the Belgrade, the Serbian colours in the background as well. I tried for that with the blue and the uh, and the yeah. well, the red, but I couldn't get the white in there. <laughs> I was going to put the white in, but I was like, ah, oh, blue and red will do. Oh, we've got the white at the screen. It'll do. But, big oh, forehand look at that, there. Big... Djokovic returns it, but it's too long. It's amazing that he, get, he amazing he gets a racket on shots like Djokovic that. Djokovic annoyed. Think? screams at the top of his lungs and as his family looks down in despair from the stands three points away Aslan Karatsev looking to turn the tables on the world number one you got one over on me in the semi-finals in Australia I'm gonna get one over on you right now that's what he's saying great return from Djokovic Backhand Karatsev. Oh, oh, oh Djokovic what a shot from Djokovic that's incredible <laughs> And, mate, it's another low IQ shot, though, from Karatsev. I feel like he should have gone down the line. Instead, he goes back to the same place. Djokovic anticipates where he's going to go and passes him with a really good, solid backhand. Mate, we've got that's worthy. Chris, we've got it's worthy. James 2X here saying, big point. Yeah, you go for it, mate. Oh my gosh, did you see that shot? What happened there? Uh, I missed it, mate, because of the thing.
I'm not <laughs> sure. I think he's he's won that point. Unbelievable. It's another one of them big smashes. Djokovic gets a racket on it again, which is unbelievable. Yeah. However, it's long and Karatsev takes and the point. Two points away now. Only two <laughs> points away. Everyone stay calm. Unbelievable. There's going to be scenes if, if he can close this out. Good serve. Good return. He goes cross court. They're going cross court forehand. Djokovic is looping it in, hoping for the error. Djokovic goes into the forehand of Karatsev. Great shot. Goes backhand. Karatsev on the stretch. Slice. Djokovic forehand. Karatsev backhand. Cross court forehand. Karatsev gets oh. there. Cross court. Djokovic oh. winner. <laughs> the crowd just can't believe it. This tennis is sublime. It's what tennis the... on the gods right now. Djokovic answering these powerful shots from Karatsev and he gets a break point and it's fully deserved, I must wow. say. That was rallying. Look at this one that. here. That was that world class. so good. There's not but... many players who can pull that shot off. Djokovic just, is one of them who can do I'm that. I'm just blown away by that, mate. I mean, that is just when you're not playing well to pull out that type of shot yeah. uh, as well, to go for it as well. Mate, it's it, insane. It's, it's actually insane. We've got Christmas saying, what an angle. Wildlife. Oh, my God. I just can't. No one's, everyone's in, in shock with that yeah. shot. One of the best shots I've seen this year. Matt, from Considering the, the shot he played it off as well, it was like a great shot from Karatsev. Here we go. Good second serve. Djokovic into play. Backhand to backhand. They go. Down the line. Karatsev. It's power. Ooh. He's coming into the net. It's forehand. He's gone with the bigger looper. Can he smash it? He's gone smash. He's he saves it. He, he saves, saves it. it. Come on. Good. Come on. He's back to two points away again. But remember, he's on the edge of getting broken as well. This next point is huge. It's, it's match defining. It's career defining for Aslan Karatsev. Yeah, mate, this is doesn't get much tense than this. The uh, juice he saved a break point against Djokovic. He didn't do it last time. He got broken. Now's your time. Two points away from this first set. Karatsev, said, "Big serve down the tee." Djokovic, good return out to the backhand of Djokovic <gasps> down the line. Great shot, Djokovic chopped into play. Down the line, Djokovic chopped back into play. Djokovic cross court. Into play again from Karatsev. He's staying in this rally. Djokovic firing oh, it. Oh, my gosh. Well Djokovic. Played. Mate, wow. Novak, the world number one's wow. come to play here. And he, mate, is just sublime. He really is. Them shots there, forcing it. He didn't care it was on nah. Karatsev forehand. He was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to hit it so hard and so Ow. pinpoint. I don't care what you can give me back. That and that is just like... a level of arrogance <clears throat> there to Djokovic's play. And fully deserved there to win the point. Right. And he's got another break point opportunity here. We spoke about Sinner playing uh, well on break points and set points. That is just ultimate clutch play from Djokovic. Big serve out to the Djokovic backhand into the middle of the court. Djokovic playing it safe. Karate, oh. big backhand. He comes oh, in, he hits it on the body. Oh, Come on, saves the break point. Djokovic, no chance. <laughs> Djokovic is frustrated. But Come on. I don't know, mate. That's insane. I just want to say, guys, if you're enjoying this stream as much as <laughs> me and on. Ben is, I don't think you're enjoying it as much as Ben, that's for sure. But please leave us a like on the video. It really would mean the world to us. And if you're new to the channel, you just found us, hit that subscribe button. We, we, we're going to be bringing the final for this for the winner of this tomorrow. Also, the final of Barcelona. We've got draw previews. We've got a lot planned. So, this is the place to be. And there we go. Karatsev to serve. It's long. Second serve now. I'm going to keep it on this just for this point. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Aslan. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> Come on. Oh. Big serve down the tee. Second serve. It's long, isn't it? It is long. Yes, it is long. It's going to be set is point. It? No, it I think it's no, long, it's not. Mate. Is it not? Uh, it's not. It hit the. He, he miss hit it. It's he hard apologized. with this camera angle. Apologies. We we have a terrible camera angle here uh, for, for this Serbia uh, Open. It's not the greatest. Yeah. Uh, appreciate however, Soren. break point there. Cheers, Soren, for the super chat. If you want a chance to jump onto the top tippers board, don't you can see there. You got the top five. If you want a chance, jump above those guys. Then you know what you've got to donate. And we appreciate everyone who does. Great winner there from Karat Seven. He saves another. That's five break points saved and three in this service game. He is <laughs> trying is his smiling. Best. He can't believe it. He's like, where's this guy been? What is he doing? 
How has he become <laughs> this good? <laughs> I literally remember in the Australian Open, he said, "I've never, uh, yeah, I've never I've, heard I've, of him. I've, yeah, I've never really watched any of his matches. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch some of them before the match." Mate, I can assure you, you're watching them now. Ace Karatsev. And look Ooh, at that, Djokovic, Djokovic the is ball out of the <laughs> It's set point. It's Aslan Karatsev. Can he is do it? He's actually rattled, mate. The lion is just doing something unthinkable right now. Let's go. Djokovic launches a ball out of the stadium. He's, he's angry. Where's the and warning? So, mate. Give set him a point. Point, point deduction. <laughs> <laughs> It's a serve. It's into play. Backhand to backhand. Djokovic on the stretch. Backhand down the line. Djokovic on the stretch. He chops it back. Oh, it's still. Oh, it's still in. Aslan hitting it so hard. He's in. It's there. He's got the first set. Come on. Let's go. You pressing it? Yeah, you press it, mate. Aslan grabs it. Thought you were going consolidation. <laughs> no, I thought we, we can't. I think we have to skip. Well, we'll do it now. Go no, on. But that, that button has to be played. Aslan uh, Karatsev has just taken the first set against the world number one in Serbia. 7 5. He was free love down. And this now is really heating up. And what did I say to you, Ben? He's taking a yeah. set. He's going to take one. <laughs> yeah. Loving it. Come on, Aslan. That's what we want to see. Let's get you into this final in Belgrade, where arguably he'll be the favourite, whoever he faces in this final. This is crazy. Well, most likely, let's be honest, it's going to probably be Berrettini. No offence to Tara Daniel. I think Berrettini is going to have oh. enough. Berrettini versus Karatsev. There's so much clay in the mid court. Can there's somebody remove some of it? That's what he said. Sorry if I did it in get, a bad accent. They're gonna get someone now. I just tried to replicate exactly what he said. There's so much clay in the mid court. Can you get them to remove some of it? So they're gonna what? Try and rake it now. Yeah, rake it. Trying to move some of the the clay out. God, they're just showing some of these points. Yeah, that's unbelievable. I, I didn't hear Karatsev complaining. There was too much clay in the mid court. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a bit mate, of a Karatsev, sound... don't care. He's used to it from the challenges, mate. mate that he plays on <laughs> he, he plays on the worst clay courts that are going. He doesn't care, mate. He could play if there was divots all over the place. The ATP tour have just tweeted halfway to a major upset in upset in Belgrade. Shocked face. <laughs> mate. <laughs> no one what? can believe it. Uh that I mean think if you just look at some of the highlights. Yeah, they're going through some of these best moments from that first set. It's actually been epic. It's been an incredible match. And to think we were saying it's a bit boring at 2-1, wasn't it? Or oh, 2-love, it was like, oh, not much is really happening. Can you believe it, though? Players making errors. I can't and actually believe it. it around. I, I can't, actually... can't believe it, mate. I can't believe it, yeah. I really can. I can't believe that the way it started, it was so, it was so bad but from, from both players. And it turned on oh, its yeah. head. I can't really believe it in that sense of it, but I can believe the fact that Corrective leading. We've been saying this on the podcast for over a year, it seems. We had our end of year awards before any Australian Open or anything. We wanted to give him the most improved player on the whole tour. We believe in this guy more than <laughs> anyone. We've seen what he was doing against players and it, he just had something special about him and there's no surprise what's happening now. That, that I, I, I've got to be in. honest, there's a little bit of a surprise. We didn't expect him to be this good but I'm just all for it, mate. Just let, it, let the run keep going. Thanks, isn't happy with you, mate. He's saying, JG, Tara Danu took that personally. Now he will win against Berrettini. I want to get the thoughts of John Silk on what was quite an epic uh, first set there. You are watching it from the sidelines. John, we'll bring you in. Let's hear what yeah. you have to say. Yeah, thanks for bringing me in. I feel like, uh, given the situation, I feel like an ex at, at the the wedding of my ex-girlfriend here in Obey. <laughs> <laughs> Gate crashing uh, the party somewhat because, wow, 
Wow, three times he broke the serve of Djokovic in that first set. Yeah. And he, he's now won two more games than uh, one or two people have been predicting. So, 7-5. Uh, my question to, to you, Ben, is can he do it? I know. It's the big question, isn't it? And I think it all is dependent on how well he starts this second set for me. Because if Djokovic comes out firing and then he, uh, he starts off slow again, we could be in for a, a horrible uh, set. I reckon it could be like a 6-2 or something, and then Djokovic might clear up. But if Karatsev starts in the same vein and manages to come out well and hold his serve, if he can get this to at least three I, all. Imagine if he breaks in, early doors. Oh, that mate, would just be it's, it's scenes. Ah, oh, Djokovic <laughs> so it means business, though. Big winner. Yeah. Djokovic is coming out all, all guns blazing. I guaranteed this this second yep. set. There is no way that he goes out uh, without going out on his shield. In Belgrade, there's no way he's going out uh, feebly. There's not going to be a... Sorry. It's not, it's not, it's not going to be another one of those uh, Sonego performances. I'll tell you that right now. Some of those uh, moments at the end of that second, uh, that, that first set there, when Djokovic was making demands of, of everyone saying, do this, do that. And there were no questions from the umpire, the ATP tool, that they just did it. Whatever he wanted, <laughs> give it that clay. I think if they keep going with the clay, it'll be a hard court before the end of the match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shot from Correa. Anyway, we're going to get back that. to the match. Thanks for that, Thank John. You. We'll talk Cheers, to you in a bit. John. Cheers. Mate, what a shot that was from Karatsev. And it just goes to show, doesn't matter how much the uh, home odds are in your favour, it matters nothing. Because if somebody can hit winners past you, you got no chance. And uh, at the moment, Djokovic is looking for some answers from somewhere other than his own racket. He's looking for answers from the umpire. He's looking for answers from up above. Maybe he's looking for answers from Jesus Christ. Is he in the chat still? <laughs> what, what answers have you got for oh, him? Djokovic swats that ball away just out, 30-15. And he's definitely very frustrated with his performance. He, he's upset that he let that free love lead slip. He's kind of allowed Karatsev back into this. He's been going deeper and deeper on the baseline as Karatsev's hitting harder and harder. And, mate, I think we're in for a real epic now, this second set. I'm not, I'm not going with what you're saying, that Djokovic can clean this up. I honestly Ooh, think no, mate, Karatsev well, no. from this position can can get it done in two. I well, honestly mate, believe I'm that. only saying that if he starts the more uh if he manages to get an early break in this in this second set, I think he could clean up the second set. That's all. Yeah, uh, I just want to give a big shout out as well to the chat. We've got Gene here, a biggest Djokovic fan in the house. Obviously, he's in the Discord chat as well. Uh big, big fan of Djokovic. I want to ask you, mate. Can your man come back? Is he going to win this match? And are we going to see him in the final? Exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ is back in. Sorry, I bet 50 on Karatsev. Djokovic is cursed to lose. <laughs> well, I'm not so sure about it. We'll wait and see. So we have got Djokovic holding serve pretty convincingly there in the second set. Karatsev up. One set to love here in Belgrade. Did you ever think you'd see it? And you see the second serve win percentage there from Karatsev. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah, why, don't we, why don't we get the stats up? Just have a little look for yeah. Let's have a quick a little look at that. See uh, two double faults for Karatsev. Four aces to none for Djokovic. <laughs> That's mad. Which, <laughs> which is uh, pretty crazy. Um, he's got the high, well, exactly the same first serve percentage, but the first serve points win percentage, 69%. Yeah. And look at that for Djokovic. 61% points one on his second serve. This yeah. is a bizarre stat, isn't it? it is More than weird, his yeah. first. I'm sure that'll even out as the match goes on. Yeah, probably will. But uh total what are the points, total points. 48 47. Oh, so really <laughs> super tight. Nip and tight. Evident in the scoreline, really. It was only 7 5 that first set. Yeah. But now hey, this is be... he needs to fight more than ever. Uh, Mate, this is going to be a real tough one for Karatsev to, to not get complacent, not just sit back and relax, because it's too easy to just sit back and relax when you're up that one set. We've got Gene here saying um, that, yeah, he will come back. He, he believes in his man Djokovic and thinks he's going to come back. You've got Ark saying Djokovic will come back 100%. Oh, good, good uh, rally. They're going backhand for backhand here. Djokovic down the line. 
He's forced the error from Karatsev. Karatsev going, don't know what that means. But uh, I think it means I shouldn't have hit it there. <laughs> I should have hit there, that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Not that way, <laughs> that way. Yeah, exactly right. Oh, mate. no, love 30. Mate, it's ominous, isn't it? You don't. It's almost uh, a bad omen winning a set against someone like Djokovic. Well, because, it's the big uh, three, isn't it? If you win the set against them, how many times have we seen when about 10 minutes is free love to the, to the other player in the second set? Mate, well... Nadal, uh, Federer, Djokovic, they do it all the time. He really needs to win this point because this could be... Uh, oh, oh, that was a great shot. There. It looked like it was going to go long and that That's one long, did though. go long. His level's dropped a little bit now. He's it's making a few unforced errors. <laughs> and, uh, mate, I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't count him out of this set, though, because it's exact the same repeat of the first set so far. Mate, it's crazy. It was just errors galore, wasn't it? Djokovic didn't do anything. Yeah. And Karatsev was just making error after error. And it's happened again. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Look, love 40. Three break points. And he's hit the net. And it's wide. Second serve. Come on. Big second serve here. Djokovic, big one cross court. <clears throat> oh, That's wide. Wide from Unlucky Djokovic. There. Djokovic tried to uh, go for it a bit more than he has been doing there on that point. Yeah, he didn't play for the rally, did he? He saw no. the angle down the line. I think it's the right shot to do. Just missed by about phew, a few inches. What do you make of this one being a 250 and Rafa's one being a 500? Well, as far as I know, the Belgrade Open or Serbian Open, whatever you call it, it's a new tournament, right? So this yeah, is the yeah. first year that we've sat, we've had it. So that probably it takes a while to, be to become a bit more of a prestigious tournament. Especially if Karatsev wins it. <laughs> <laughs> they probably want Djokovic to win it. Oh, oh that's a great backhand. Karatsev steps in. Big winner. That's it. Saves Two break one. points saved. God, mate, if he saves all these seven breaks saved so far, <laughs> He saves all three break points here. Mate, this is bad news for Djokovic. He's got some you. big balls, I'll tell you that. Yeah, they go with his calves. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if his balls are as big as his calves, I'd be worried. <laughs> he's storing his balls in his calves, I think. They're that big. Here we go. 30 40. Ah, oh, he's missed it. I feel like it's always the way, man. They always get broken now. We saw it earlier as well. We've seen the sitter pass. Love 40, gets to 34, and then they get broken. All right. Chill. Ooh. Oh, it's let. Second serve. Let. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Here we go. It's Karatsev. Second serve. It's in. Good return. Backhand. Down the line. Down the middle. They're both going now. Forehand. Karatsev. Opens up the court. Backhand. Service line. Oh. Great shot from Karatsev. It's a recovery shot. Oh, it's, just out. it's just out. He's done everything right there as well. You can't be too critical. However, Djokovic breaks. I want Hawkeye. Are they going to have a look here? I think it's a break. <laughs> and it's yeah, only no, fair for all the Djokovic fans. Let's give him his moment now. Yes, it's, there you go. <laughs> I can, I can <laughs> sense the, 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 you just being slightly deflated right now. I am a little bit, but I'm not out of it. I'm not out of it. It might just be the beers. <laughs> <laughs> might just be taking their toll after a long, uh, a long day. It's a nice day here today. Even as you know, it's a nice sunny yep. day. You haven't had to uh, go through the, uh, oh, double fault from Djokovic. Double fault of it, as some might say. Yeah, you had your day yesterday, mate. I'm on it today. Yeah, yeah. It's all good, mate. It's all part of the it's fun. All right. I'm just trying to bring the. Uh, I'm trying to bring the life. <laughs> trying to not just get too uh, too downbeat, though. I, I don't want to allow the emotions to take over too much. Here we go. Love fifteen. Can Karatsev break straight back in this second set? Needs to. Needs to. 
Well, does he really though? Because it went free love down on the first, and he seemed all right. It's true. Oh, his second serve's been better than his first serve, which is weird. <laughs> I think he just goes for two first serves. That's probably why the statistics look you so see, some crazy of his first serves second. were very, very passive as well in that first set. He Maybe just went tactic, just angle. Might be just be more power on the second. He's certainly capable. There we go. Second serve now. What's he going to do? Mary Sky saying it's too late. <laughs> too late for what? Karatsev. Oh, oh, double Fultovich is back. Is that is two that, double Fultovich in, in a row? Yeah, I think so. So it's love 30. Karatsev not had to hit a ball yet. That's what we like to see. Well, we, unless you're Djokovic fan. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Obviously. Well, look at those calves. I like the fact that they do a pan up from the calf upwards <laughs> on Karatsa. He's bouncing on the spot look right at now. That. Yeah, Vance said I took some melatonin, apparently. I need some energy has dropped. Yeah, I need like an insulin oh, injection. What a return. Oh, oh, it's a great return. Oh, look at that. Djokovic with the volley. Karatsev's into the net down the line. Come on. Three break points and the energy's back. You just injected me with an Azan Karatsev insulin. <laughs> oh, I'm back. You got Alex there having a dig at the British uh, saying, why did Brits invent every sport but fail to win anything? They're just not very good at sports. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, good at inventing it, but that's about it. Especially English, we just had to claim Murray as English for a while or British. <gasps> just uh, oh, it's hit the net cord. Djokovic going backhand to backhand with Karatsev right now. He's gone down the line. Karatsev, big forehand. He's is he going to oh, try? And... No. Oh, come on! What are you doing? It's a tricky one. I think he could have done a little bit better there, though. Two break points still. Yeah, in those rallies where it's just fifty-fifty, let Djokovic go for it. Don't... Mate, we've got a lot. We've got a lot of people saying they've bet today on Aslan Karatsev. I'm interested really? to know what the odds was. I know in play probably that right now it'd be quite favourable to bet on Karatsev. But what were they there at the, at the beginning of the match? I don't know, but does it sound the thing? Just hit odds on the. How is it? Six. So see there, six. It was Five six. to one. Yep. Wow. Mental. And there we go. Djokovic oh. saves another break point. This is the what final I mean, one. Is it, are we going to see a repeat of what happened in the last one? Mate, Love 40, you. then 30, 40, and then he breaks. <sighs> come on. Don't, come on, Aslan. Don't let him get a three love again. Mate, I'm telling you now, he's going to break. I can feel it. Don't do that. Don't be you the curse. I feel it in my fingers. <laughs> I feel it in my toes. Oh, yes, I do. Second serve. Oh. I feel a double fault now <laughs> from Djokovic's racket. <laughs> Got Blanca there going, go Karatsev. Djokovic is taking his time on this second serve. He oh, gets no, it, in. it in. It's a Great return. return. He's hit it on the volley. Oh, oh, yes! Oh, come on! So we're both getting carried away there with the button by the looks of it. Yeah, so we got uh Jordan with that, people just joining us. Karatsev stole the first set, 7-5. He's now on mean? serve on the second. Stole? <laughs> no, stole. I, I meant stole to say he stole the, the headlines. Stole from Noel, I think is the headline <laughs> there. Uh, Jordan saying, that was number one when I was born, man. I feel it in my fingers. JD felt it in his fingers. I felt it I in my it was toes. breaking. I could feel it. <laughs> That's it. And uh, it was. The love was all around us. And so the feeling grows. Life. He's loving it. Vamos. <laughs> That's it. Nostrovia, as they say in Russia. Let's go. Yeah, Mate. and I just want to say, guys, if you're enjoying this stream, please leave us a like on the video. It would mean, it would mean the world to us, really, because uh, it does help us appear in a lot more searches. Um, and if you haven't already, you're new to the channel, you just stumbled across me and Ben talking rubbish about tennis all the time, hit the subscribe button because we're going to be doing plenty more of rubbish talking for, well, the foreseeable future, hopefully.
Mate, we will be talking rubbish uh, until the end of time. But hopefully they will be talking some sense as well. Because we were talking some sense, if you remember. Uh, if we roll the calendars back all the way to August last year, September last year, there was two guys who were on the internet talking some sense about a guy from Russia. A guy who was doing well on the Challenger Tour. A guy... A guy or a lion. Name- of Aslan Karatsev. There was two guys. There's a guy right below me right now who was talking about it. There's a guy above JG who was talking about it. We were talking about this guy before sliced bread. So this is he is here right now. He's in the he's a semi-finalist of the Australian Open. We spoke to him. He didn't really say much to us, but he was very funny. But <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say too much to us. He doesn't say much to anyone, but he doesn't. Of it. He went to the toilet. That was all he said to the people in the press conference. That was what changed. The, that was what made the difference against his two sets to love comeback against Felix. He just went to the toilet. That was all it took for him to win against Felix. All it takes for him to win against Novak. That's so oh, jammy. Oh, no. Again, how many? He's already playing in Serbia. He's already playing in his hometown. He's had as many neck cords as I've had at dinners today. What's going on with him? <laughs> There we go, love 30. Karatsev potentially could get broken straight back here. This is ridiculous. How many? How much opportunity do you need? There we go. Anyway, Karatsev looking to cause the upset of a lifetime. Great serve. Just long. That's a great serve. Look good. Djokovic seems to manage he's to so, always get a ra- he's racket so on deep on the base side, isn't he? Well, yeah. He's given a lot of respect to Karatsev, must have Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, he just lost the first set. It's long <laughs> from Djokovic there. That's a, his unforced error there. And this is sort of the key to this match is just hanging in rallies and picking your right moment to go for it. Because I think that if, if Karatsev didn't go for as many shots... Djokovic would have made more unforced errors than he has already today. Yeah, I agree I think with we, that. I think we saw that in the Evans match. Evans isn't one for winners. Evans just keeps it going. And then Djokovic hit 45 unforced errors. I no. think you can force them out of Djokovic if he isn't playing well. I don't think he's on his top game today. No. And I think he can. Well, no, I was talking about this month. He's not on his top game. Same as Rafa. Neither of them really are filling me with too much oh. confidence. And that's why neither of them got to the final in Monte Carlo. Well, exactly. Well, and look at the, the one guy. I honestly you believe be- if there's a time to beat Djokovic and Rafa, it's right now. And the, the guy you want to be... Sc- oh, what a drop shot that is. Well, oh, Karatsev's got it back. Oh, wow. well played, Djokovic. World class. Just as we're saying, he's not on his A game. He's just produced shot. a ridiculous what? drop shot. I, I'm surprised he got to it. Yeah, I don't know same. how he got to that. What a, what a slice. Look at that. I mean, to even yeah, be able to get there. Good that he followed it, though, all the way. Mate, and two break impressive. points now for Novak Djokovic. That's impressive, though. <clears throat> but the one player that they're all going to be fearing right now is uh, a guy from Greece, I have to say. Yep, that's true. A certain someone from, from Greece. Yeah, Looking definitely. In mate. hot, hot form right now. Djokovic probably already knows the, the fear from him yep. when he wasn't injured in the Austra- oh, not Australian Open, on the French Open, when yep. he came back and probably would have beaten him had he not been injured. Yeah, potentially. He I, would think have he would have, I think he would have done. If he hadn't been injured, he would have beaten him. Hey, oh, I was yeah, going to say that. Oh, he's hit the net cord again. Karatsev's in. Finishes yeah, it. nice. Finally, got, a net got a bit cord. of luck with the net cord there. Finally. Car, about time, isn't it? How many net cords eight, can you get? I think he's saved eight break points now this match. The mental yeah. giant, which is Aslan Karatsev. <laughs> Mate. Another four-hand winner, though. Add that one to the list. Checking the Make crowd a little tally of Can't work out who the crowd are cheering for right now. Can you? Um... I don't know. I think they're just ex- no enjoying the, the match stands, as much though. as what we are, mate, to be honest. There's no one in the actual stand part. Great serve. Well saved. Yeah. Huge from him there. Needed that massively. Nine breaks saved from Aslan Karatsev today. That's impressive. And Gene's not happy, saying, uh, stop making drop shots. You don't like drop shot of it, obviously. 
I yeah, don't like it. I understand in general that Djokovic over the years he's really doing so many of them. This this last year as well uh, in Roland Garros last year it seemed to be every match he was doing about ten and they weren't really working out for him. However, that I think I think right recently they've been doing a lot better, so you can't really jump on him too much for them. Yeah, Dan May. I think that other one was really good. It won him the point. Agreed. Good return. Karatsev, big forehand. Djokovic, big forehand. Down the middle, Karatsev. Both playing down the middle. Oh, Too much out. from Karatsev. Too it's much. Insane. He's forcing it. He doesn't need to. <sighs> yeah, but no, mate, I don't. Uh, I think that's all right to do that there. No, he just I needs to find just... the lines a bit. He's, I, I don't want to see him going too passive. He needs to keep... He's all or nothing. That is Aslan Karatsev. Can't change his uh, trademark shots now. No, but he didn't need to go that much on that. Sh- that Mate, it's shot. high risk. High, it's high risk. That's the way it is. That's how he plays. It's always high yeah, risk but, stuff. But Djokovic isn't hitting winners at the moment. So there's no need to go for so many winners yourself. Oh. Oh, look at <laughs> that, though. <laughs> nice little serve it. volley. He doesn't like to let the ball bounce. I'll tell you that much. That's yeah. Azan Karatsev. We've seen doesn't... it a few times. That, that whipping forehand on the run. Dangerous, Mate, isn't it? He doesn't let it bounce. He hits it on on the volley every time. We've got Ark saying he's not able to watch the match, so he's dependent on our commentary alone. Uh, well, Ben's got a big job ahead of him then. <laughs> That's it. We're at juice Som- here. Some chips calling me boring Ben. <laughs> what what's happened? I'm t- not even cheering on Djokovic today. There we go. Come on. Juice. Second serve. Down the tee. It's long. Oh, it's long from Djokovic. It's poor mm. on the return. And that's what one he should be getting back with much more uh, on it. He's looking at the umpire almost like Are you are you sure that it was up? Give me the point. He's like <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, do you want to check again? <laughs> Can we do my uh, special Novak Djokovic uh, Hawkeye? We've got RS there. He agrees with me. High risk, high return. And that's what that's what was grown us to love him. I think well, he needs to just keep going with it. What? I had to play that point again, did I? They played it again. What? What? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. It seemed long to me. It's weird why they played that point again. I'm not sure what's happening. Let us know in the chat, guys, yeah. if people know something. Djokovic is influencing the umpire right now, mate. I'm not happy with this. Yeah, I kind something, of agree. It was Shane saying it's a correction there. So maybe correction. it was in. It must oh, have been in, mate. Come on. What is going on? We can't correction. really see from our camera angle, to be correction fair. Correction from a Serbian person, probably. <laughs> Karatsev goes down the line. Djokovic tries to go cross court. It's no, out. He just misses. Oh, just, that was so close. Mate, I thought it was like in. That. <laughs> that was like that, was mate. In. That was like that. It was like it was like a hair's breadth. Good, good idea from Djokovic, but well played, Karatsev. Just going for it there. All or nothing, like you say. Wild love saying Djokovic intimidated the umpire. <laughs> mate, I think he did. I want to say thank you for everyone joining us today. It's a tense moment in the match. I know if you're as worried as I am, hit that like button right now on this video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, join us on our Discord as well. You can find a link in our live uh, live chat and in the description. There's people talking 20, uh, tennis 24-7. Tennis. Talking tennis. Talking tennis 24-7. Oh, uh, is that in? That looked out. That looked out. Not, they're staying in it. Djokovic mixing it. Oh, that's close it's as looked well. Out as well. This angle, I hate. I hate this camera angle. God, this is a long rally. Maybe the longest rally of the match. Stay you in think it. It'll only be favouring Djokovic. But don't go Karatsev. big. It's firing some oh! bullets. And what a oh! bullet that is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Mate. Mate. And what a shot that rag. was. Come on, come on! God, so good, man. Honestly, that's going to really pump him up and fill him with confidence. You can see there the little fist pump advantage. He's going to get out of this game. Remember, he got broken early, but he's just been fighting back ever since. Is it me or like when you see like the uh, the slow motions of Karatsev's roars? They look more like aggressive than anyone I've ever seen. Like on a court, like you don't hear a peep from him normally, but as soon as you see the replay. Like the slow motion, he's like, ugh, like this, this beast, mate. Oh. 
Yes. The forehand. Yes! What a shot. Come In on. Solid, And with that, it's a consolidation as well. Yep. It was indeed. And we are back at two games all, as you can see here. Two love down in the first set. Three love down came back. Second set two. Look how many break points there's been in this match. I'm yeah. sorry, but every every game is nearly a break point. Look, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's ridiculous. So so far, ten break points in this set already. This match is uh, beyond Ooh. epic for me. Uh, I, this is this is That's clear the net. That's long. Surely, long. is this surely surprised? that one is? This there match it is. is fifteen all now. This has surpassed more expectations than I was uh, expecting from this Mate, match, to be 100%. honest. 100%. I'm, I'm shocked how, how good it is. And Karatsev's lived up to the occasion. He's not been scared at all. We saw in the Australian Open, he was slightly nervous, I feel, in that Australian Open. Probably being it such a momentous uh, occasion, being a semi-final of a Grand Slam. Never yeah. been that far in any tournament, really. This one here today, he's sort of become a bit more accustomed to, this, to the climate of the big stage. It's not a Grand Slam, obviously. It's only a 250, but he's playing against Djokovic in Serbia. And, mate, there's just no, there's just seem, doesn't seem to be any nerves here today from him. This part, as a double oh, fall, it's double a double fall. Double is back. There's part of me to think that this match sort of changed when people started cheering for Aslan Karatsev. And he was. Everyone was cheering for Djokovic. And then at one point, at the end of the first set, the fans turned on Djokovic and started cheering for Karatsev. Yeah. And it seems to have energized him somehow. I don't yeah, know what's it's going on. It's kind of true. I know what you I, mean. I, I like, there was a little, there was a change, wasn't there, in, yeah. the, in, the, in the atmosphere there? It's like they were on the Karatsev bandwagon, but they didn't want to say. They were like <gasps> closet Karatsev. It's another double fault. It's back-to-back -back double faults. And here we have two break Five. points. Aslan Karatsev. It's like we're watching Rafa again from Monte Carlo. What's going on? <laughs> double fault of it is here, Wildlife <laughs> says. Drop shot of it is gone. And <laughs> Jesus Christ is insane. Ben, it's the Jesus effect. <laughs> well, maybe. Oh, two break points. And Michael Walker saying, I can't log in the Discord. Oh, that's sad. <gasps> oh, it's a great return from... Uh, he's gone down the line. Oh, it's into the net! Is it, is it in? I don't know. I think... I'm going to look at it, I think. No, I think it's a break. And there we go. Is it? And Karatsev. There's no cheering. Where's the cheering? No one can believe what's going on. <laughs> it's in his hands now. Come on, as that is in there. <laughs> Mate, you've got to pinch yourself here. Djokovic, two love up in the second set. Karatsev turns it around again. This time he's got a break. He's up a break in the in the okay. second set, early doors. What's going on? <laughs> and uh, I've got to be realistic here. Karatsev's not really done too much in this second set. It's just been more Djokovic's downfall. He's not serving well at all. His movement does look slightly off. Karatsev's doing all the right things, I must admit, and plugging away, making some big shots. But Djokovic's level has dropped a significant mm -hmm. amount. Um, yeah. And it's not looking good for him, to be fair. I think Karatsev is going to be a favourite now to win this match from this position. And you've got Call Me uh, Touch saying Karatsev is going to do it. Well, Aslan Karatsev, if he wins this match here today, he goes above Fabio Fanini into 27th place in the world. And then... What happens if, if he, he wins the final? If he was potentially to win the final, he would overtake Dan Evans. He goes up one more into 26th wow. place. And remember, Dan <laughs> Evans was in the semi-finals in Monte Carlo. So this is incredible stuff right now. Djokovic looking 
I think the fans feel bad for him. They feel bad cheering for Karatsev in the first set, I think. Now, they were on silent now. Maybe they've evicted Karatsev. all the fans who was cheering on Karatsev in the first <laughs> yeah, set. Yeah, I think so. They got him out in the, after the first set. Like, you've got uh, Michael there saying, uh, wasn't Novak up three love in the first set? Yes, he was. And then and Karatsev comes storming back. And two then two love set, up in... Yeah, two up in the, in the second set. So, three games on the bounce. Well, a double fault from Karatsev now. He's going to it's try and give it back. <laughs> he oh, feels no. bad for Djokovic. He's like, oh, here you go. You can have some double faults now. Yeah, I want to say thank you, everyone, for joining us for this Novak Djokovic Karatsev semi final. If you haven't liked this video yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Come on, help out our channel, hit that like button. And if you aren't subscribed yet, Come on, join the GTL family, <laughs> subscribe, and we will be bringing you finals tomorrow and every single match that is coming up in over the next few weeks because there's going to be some crackers. We've got Estoril coming up next week. Yeah. I'm just watching this rally here. Yeah. Both players going down the middle. And uh, remember the last long rally we saw, Karatsev actually outplayed Djokovic and won the point in the end. I think he has the power uh, on Djokovic. Djokovic is a bit worried to go for the uh, big shot. Oh. It's a great shot down oh, the line by Djokovic. Oh, Commentator's curse yet again. As you said it, he goes for a big shot, hits the line, and now it's love 30. What a shot from Djokovic there. Perfect, really. I think we all know. I know despite all of the commentary, all of the chat, everything, we all know... Djokovic is always in this match. There yeah. is no way, unless it it could even be match point, and yeah. he's still in this match. That's that's how realistic it is with uh, Novak Djokovic. But I'll be honest. Karatsev can hold here, then break Djokovic. He can be 5-2 up, 40 love, and there's still a part of me that thinks Djokovic will come back and win the oh, match. Yeah, oh, for sure. Because that's he's just a mental giant. He's been doing it for so many years, and he's just so good. Honestly, he's, there's no re there's people why he's called it... There's, Loads this of people call him the greatest of all time, and it's for a reason. This is huge, really, this game for me. Because if if Karatsev can hold here and maintain a two-game advantage, it's wide from Djokovic yeah. there down the line. This is big for me. If he is able to hold here and get 4-2, that is massive. Because you're one step closer to the magic five. The magic five where all the pr scoreboard pressure goes on to the opponent. And they can't make any mistakes then. There's yeah. no room for error when you're on the other, well, the opponent's on the Magic Five. Yeah, I agree, mate. It's, it's going to be huge for him. Mate, it's interesting to see. Oh, great return from Djokovic. Forehand. They're going forehand for forehand. Down the line from Karatsev. Cross court. Backhand from Djokovic. Goes backhand for backhand. Down the oh. line, Karatsev. <laughs> what a shot, Karatsev. That is incredible. <laughs> Mate, it is world class at this stage. You've got to be realistic. Some of the shots Karatsev pull off are just out of the top draw. I know people saying I was getting carried away on a previous one against Rublev, saying on his day he can beat anyone. You're seeing here today against world number one what he's capable of. Mate, um, but I just want to know the... from the chat, guys, what do you think on this match? Do you think Djokovic will come back in this match or will Karatsev get it done in two? Mate, this is the Karatsev that we wanted to see in the Australian Open semis. Yeah. But I think like, that was we a wanted bit, to see him. Maybe we was asking a little bit too much for him there. Well, mate, it was a big occasion. It's a Grand Slam semi-final. You got to remember that he's never even been to a Grand Slam. Yeah, <laughs> he got his first Grand Slam. He'd gone to the semi-final. Can you believe that? Like that is incredible. Uh, and here we go. He's now. This is turning the tables. Like we said, be well before they started clay courts. Karatsev is a force on the clay. If you watched him last year where we watched him on the clay in the challenges, he was unstoppable. And uh, he, he did it on the, he replicated it on the hard courts, which is incredible. <gasps> oh, that's a great shot from him. He hit the baseline. Djokovic staying in this one. Down the oh. line. Djokovic on the stretch. Clips oh, it's the in line. the baseline. They're going backhand for backhand. Drop shot from Djokovic into the net. He's opened up the court. Djokovic yeah, too good. It. And you can see there, the I think he did a drop shot because he just ran out of ideas there, Djokovic. Nah, I he think it of, was wise. It was a clever choice in the end. Wins the point. 
And breathe, mate. We're back to this again. We've got a lot of Djokovic fans in the chat saying his man is get they're gonna he's gonna come back. We've got Misra though saying Karatsev's gonna win. Here we go. Michael Djokovic will come back in this match. Well, we've got Alex saying Karatsev doesn't seem to give a sh who is on the other side. Uh yeah, I don't I believe he doesn't either. I, it could be anyone. He still plays the same. He's got his own game plan, it never changes it. That's one thing you can say about Aslan Karatsev. It's do or die. High risk tennis, and it's most the most exciting brand of tennis to watch from a from maybe a biased perspective. Yeah, I mean, come on! If this was another person who just stepped on the call, uh, imagine. Uh, do you reckon like someone around the same level as him, Hubert Hurkacz? Do you reckon he would have given them the same game? <gasps> oh, great shot from Djokovic! Break point! Break point! Great shot from Djokovic! Yeah, fair play. Of is the break point. Djokovic turned the screw a little bit there. Nice to see. He's he's still not uh, out of this. He looks. No. A, uh, he's playing a lot better. He's definitely raised his level a significant has, amount. You can't say Karatsev's doing anything wrong. Actually, this is either. huge, mate. I'm, I think this is. We're underestimating how big this game is. Four two. Yeah. When you're this a is set down, is massive because Karatsev could have a storming service game in the next one. You never know. You just don't know. Big service. A let. But I want to say thanks, everyone, for joining us. If you are one of the 350 and you haven't liked the video yet, come on, guys. Help out our channel. Like this video. We appreciate all of you so much. So, And we are willing on. Well, I'm willing on Karatsev to win. JG might be willing on Djokovic. It's wide from Djokovic. A massive scream. Ah! <laughs> He's not happy. Mate, 12. the lion's roaring now. 12 breaks of serve saved from Karatsev. Can you believe it? This is some serious standard of tennis. And Karatsev, to hold his nerve right now, this is a mental giant. He's not held, though, yeah. He's still on juice. No, to hold his nerve in those points, break points. That wasn't oh, a very powerful first serve, that one. He looked like he tried to swerve it in a little bit. So here we go. Karatsev, second serve. Gets it in. Djokovic down the center. Karatsev out into the Djokovic uh, backhand. Backhand, good angles. He's gone drop shot. Karatsev in. Finishes Stop it. Man. There you go. <laughs> Advantage Karatsev. And I'm not so sore with this. We've got um, someone saying, let's accept Novak's playing badly. I'm not sure for years. What? There was a spell where he was playing a bit rough, I must admit, especially the back end of the first set. But right now, Djokovic isn't playing bad at all. I think he's played very well this second set in spells. Um, for me, I don't think Djokovic is on his top game, but I don't think he's played bad. I think it, it it's one of those matches where Karatsev is forcing the hand of Djokovic at the moment. It's and it's long, and there you go, he holds. It's 4-2. <laughs> is that a consolidation? I need to check it first, mate. Sorry, I'm not so mate. sure. I don't think it is. And uh, no, he... it's not. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. It is a consolidation. There we go. <laughs> I'd like to remind you, it is four games in a row in the second set. Now for Karatsev, we look through the first set. He was three love down. He won three games oh. in a row. He was two love down in the second set. He won four games in a row. Now. He is in the ascendancy. It is 15 love. Novak Djokovic here. Yeah, we've got Neil saying huge. go Aslan. I don't want to hear too much about Djokovic playing badly because he's not doing that bad. As Aslan who deserves all the praise here for me. Yeah. The only thing I'd say Djokovic could do better on, double faults. But look, you can see double faults, four for Djokovic, three for Karatsev. So it's, so it's not too different. It's kind of even. It's, yeah, it has yeah. over the course of the match. So I don't think you can say... Oh, no. Oh, well, that's a bad return there from Kratsev. Uh, it rushed it for me. Yep. Yep. Agreed. I'm, I'm worried now. We're it's getting in his destiny, that. mate. It's in but, his destiny. This mate, match. I'm just getting too t tense now. We're getting to that tightening, the squeaky bum time of this match. Ooh. Great serve. Great return. Great shot from Djokovic. Oh, he's done it wow. again. This is a repeat of the last one. This is a very quick service game. Exactly what Novak Djokovic would have wanted for. 
Alex saying, Ben, you crazy dude. You always had the right shirt on. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Uh, this is never over. Do not forget, this is not over. This is Novak Djokovic we're talking about. This is the guy who managed to win Wimbledon from 4015. That match points down. So, oh, look at that. Shots from Djokovic. Well and what played. a way to reply with a nice game to love there for Novak Djokovic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Give exactly us more predictions right. for this second set. We've got Gopal Roy going Novak Djokovic winning 7-5. What a weird way to spell his name. <laughs> Djokovic. So made of chocolate, apparently. Uh, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Let's see. Uh, let's see if he melts in the midday sun. Uh, I don't think he's going to personally. I think that he has a very good chance of still coming back into this. He's only one break of serve down. Just remember. And we've seen how this match can turn on its head. Uh, yeah. Karatsev, both players getting annoyed at Mate, themselves Both of these guys have such huge weapons. They can turn this match in a heartbeat. All it takes is just a poor serve game from the opposition. And they're in, I feel. Um, so for me, I'm not really looking too much into the break. I don't think this break for Karatsev is that important, if I'm being honest. Got, uh, Thig TV saying, Djokovic had so many opportunities to save that match, but failed. I'm so triggered. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people triggered out there from both players. Uh, Karatsev, especially in that last game, he just hit them all, hit them all into the net. <laughs> it wasn't like the Karatsev we saw in the game before. It's crazy to see. It's just a topsy-turvy Maybe, maybe he's just reserving his energy. I don't know about that, mate. I just think that every game is completely different to the last. And you can't even judge the way that either player has been playing upon this next game. Because I think that you could see world number one Djokovic come out in this next game and for the rest of the match and completely tidy up. That's the, how I feel that if he turns up, be scared. Yeah, agreed. So let's see who does turn up. Karatsev has to serve well. That's a given. Karatsev serving 4-3. Into oh. the net. I lost the ball. Serve. I didn't even see where it went. Straight really? into the bottom of the net. This is this bad camera angle again. Yeah. Okay. Gosh. Down the tee. Return from Djokovic. Go backhand for backhand. Into the forehand. Karatsev into the backhand side. Goes backhand to Djokovic's backhand. They're going cross-court backhands right now. We're going to see some long rallies here, I feel. Yeah. Goes down the line into Djokovic's forehand. Forehand oh, no. into the net from Karatsev. And the crowd are cheering on Djokovic now. They're oh, cheering mate, on the This mistakes. is so tense. This is so tense. <sighs> this is a huge game. This is huge. Yeah, this is match-defining. Yep. Match-defining game right now. 4-3. You need the magic five. You need it, Aslan. Don't do it to your supporters right now. Got Mele say he's donating a nickel for every Djokovic drop shot would get expensive otherwise. <laughs> well, down the line. Oh, what a great shot. I think he left it, it in. I think it's in. It was a bad lead. I, I think he, he was there. It. He could have got a racket on it. He's left it. Brilliant shot from Djokovic, but it's love 30 here yet again. How many times have we seen love 30 on Karatsev serve? He has got out of him a few times. He's left it's always down one. to this one. When I'm it goes love 40, Djokovic has always broken him. It's a bad leave, that one. I'm sorry, but he could have. He was there. He, he was there. Put, put it away. It looked like a powerful shot, though. I have to understand it, but uh, love yeah, 30. It's a, it's a split second decision, isn't oh, it? Oh, a him? great return from Djokovic. Great backhand from Karatsev, though, cross court. Was it in? Yes, it was. And it was in with pace. God, mate. <laughs> this is mad. Yeah, People saying, tight. do I care who wins? To be fair, I would love to say Karatsev can win this match, but I'm probably a little bit more neutral than what Ben is, I must admit. <sighs> yeah, mate. Once you've made a song for a player, it's sort of... Uh, that they're, they're in the ascendancy for you. Great serve. Down the tee. Goes... Oh, look at this cross court. <gasps> Great forehand. And <laughs> it's in for the net from Djokovic. It's too powerful from the Lion. <laughs> Mate, he is just he is too powerful. You summed it up yet again there. You look at this forehand, the power, it sort of sat him down on the floor almost. It wasn't even in the corner. Yeah. 
Djokovic isn't used to it. <laughs> it's unbelievable. No. Where has this come from? We need a big point. Biggest right point now. of the match. Yeah, it could well be. It could be business end. Worthy. <gasps> oh! Is it out? I think it yeah. was, yeah. Yeah, it was. Second serve. Um, tense. Uh, oh, backhand for backhand. It's down the line. Oh, Djokovic, he winner. Makes he makes it. Under, oh, oh, mate, against all of the odds there, he just pulled out a spectacular backhand down the line. It's a break point ridiculous, now. Mate, that is ridiculous, mate. I think you jinxed it, mate. We could be seeing a business end, but a 4 all one. That is ridiculous. That is, that is, oh, what a bad man. That's a bad man. That's a bad man. He means business now. Break point. What can Kratz do? Can he pull out an age? Briefcase. He wants that briefcase. <laughs> it's backhand, cross court. Kratz said backhand, cross court. Djokovic, he runs round it. Djokovic goes down the line. Kratz forehand, forehand. Karatsev oh, moonballed, moonballed it. it. Oh, it's slice. Oh, got it into the net. Internet. No oh, way. I've hit my head on the wall. <laughs> no way. 13 break save now for Aslan Karatsev. He's at juice. Two points away from the magic number five. Well, wow. uh, mate, if this isn't the business end, I don't know what is, personally. Well, mate. There we go. Two. We have activated business end time. We've got oh, the match clock approaching two hours. Oh, I think it's Sam. just ticked over. Oh, it's a great serve. And there you go. Ju <laughs> oh, advantage Karatsev from Mate, Juicer. You're losing your words. <laughs> Man, I literally am. I'm, I'm, I just want to stay mute for, the thing, for this rest of the match. <laughs> He's struggling to talk. Man, I've I never can't. seen Ben like this, but here we go. It's Game point now for Aslan Karatsev. Can he get to number me five? Badly. It's affecting me badly, this match. <laughs> I don't know if I can cope. Good serve. He's gone to the backhand of Djokovic. He's going backhand for backhand. He's gone down the line. Karatsev, forehand. Gone cross-court forehand. Djokovic slips. He goes forehand down the line. Karatsev, backhand. Djokovic. He's hit the net court. Oh, it's he made it. He made it. What a shot that is. This is outstanding tennis right now from both players. Djokovic, that backhand down the line. It? He's done the same shot twice now. I think that one clipped the net cord, maybe. Yeah, it did. How many times? And it forced it more into the corner. Yeah. How many times can you hit the net cord and win a point? Karatsev's like, can give me a break right now. Seriously. Back to juice. I can't believe we're back to juice. This well, is class ridiculous. there from, from Novak. Into the ah, net. Ah, into the net. Second serve. Neither the Lou for the last like two games. Come on, give me a break. One game, probably. Oh, it's into the middle of the service box. Great. Oh, oh here we go. So Great good. point, Djokovic. He injected some power now. That's the first time we've really seen him step in and just lever yeah, a four. He did. He did stop. He stepped in, didn't he? I watched him correct him. What? <laughs> he did. Literally channeled his inner, inner Karatsev against Karatsev. It was. He just fired it right at him. He couldn't control the pace. Djokovic has been very passive today, I have to say. After seeing that one. Backhand for backhand. Down he misses the, it. Nice he misses it. He's it's a break. I'm going to have to yeah, use there we go. Quickly. The Joker is back. <laughs> and wow, what a monster of a match this one is. It's been over two hours on court for these two. We're still only in the second set. It's four all. The business end of the second set. Djokovic to serve. There's been so many breaks back and forth. Can Djokovic finally hold his serve and be one step closer to a third set? Well, that's going to help him. Karatsev goes into the net there. 15 love. Novak Djokovic. Just want to say big thanks to everyone who is watching with us, with me and Ben here today. If you haven't already, please leave us a like on our YouTube video.
It really does help us out. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Michael here saying the Joker was never gone. I'd have to agree with you. And he's looking better than ever right now. He steps in. Uh, does he pass him there? I'll have to have a look at that one again. I'm not sure. I think the umpire is going to come down off his chair to have a look here, but I think it was just wide, personally. And that probably the point is going to be awarded to Djokovic, 30 love. Yeah, there we go. I think it was out. There's the confirmation. We see here from the instant replay, slightly better where it bounced. Oh, it's so close. I can't really tell from that. However, Djokovic has got the point. It's 30 love. Oh, and no. <laughs> What's going on? Come on. We've got Andre saying, you guys are so good. I muted the original video to sync with you. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks for that, mate. Here we go. Djokovic serving. Second serve. Down the middle. Oh, he's hitting it with a bit more venom now, Djokovic. Yep. He's got a bit more confidence, I think. It's a drop shot. It's too good, that. That's yep. too good. He's, he's found his mojo. Drop Big time, shot of it. Yeah, mate, this is... This is and bad I, I, I news. Won't be, I won't be surprised if we see him break now, Karatsev, and we're going to three. This is bad news for Aslan Karatsev right now. He is playing with freedom, and the crowd are on his side. Oh, strange shot there. It's a game to love. Djokovic leads now 5-4. Go, all the buttons. Gene saying, yeah. Noel is back. He certainly yeah. is. He's turned this one around from, what was it, 4-2, was it? 4-3? Yeah, mate. That's right. 4-2, mate. 4-2. He, he, he won two in a row. Then Karatsev won four in a row. Then he won three in a row. It seems like it's uh, for winning mat or games in a row, this match. Uh, well, he had it in the first that then, mate, could we see now Aslan Karatsev three games in a row and takes the match? <laughs> I don't know, mate. He's I think playing, it's a big but, ask right now. He's playing pretty well right now, Djokovic. It's a real tough ask. For me, it's always just about Karatsev getting to that magic five every time. If he can just win the next game, we'll see. I, I want to see him at least get... I think his best chance in this set now is a tie break. Yep, agreed. I think so as well. I think he needs to just hold two service games. It's going to be big and really difficult to do. I think really this one difficult. here is going to be the hardest because Djokovic knows if he can break here, he's going yeah. to three. Yeah, I There's a lot say, of reward on the line for Djokovic if he's able to break. I want to say thanks if you haven't said already uh, for everyone who joined us. Yeah, 400 people. You said it already? All right, then yeah, I won't good. say it again. Yeah. Cheers for liking the video, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. I know that whenever I dip out for a loo break, then it's always said, so uh, I won't repeat. <laughs> <laughs> but if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for come on <laughs> join the discord as well there's a link in the description below there's about 300 people waiting to chat tennis to you all the time 24 7 and there's a live voice chat in there come me on, and jg stop. we dip in and out of there yeah there's people talking in there. I went in there the other day. There was 15 people in there just chatting tennis 24 7, mate. It's just there. That it's always running. Every I wake up in the morning, I check it. There's 10 people in there. It never I think we've stopped. got two. We've we've set up another channel on there now. So we've got two voice chats open, which is cool. Oh no. So there's Melavision, Melavision. And then there's another one, probably. Thomas Rockavision. So Thomas we've got 15 Rock. love. Uh, down the line, Djokovic cross court, cross court forehand. Great angles there from Karatsev. He steps in, hits the net cord. Djokovic, great. Oh, the cross court from Karatsev. Go forehand for forehand. Great <laughs> angles there from Karatsev. Great angles from, from Djokovic. Down the line. It's a bit loopy, though. Brilliant for tennis. This, Mate, is. this is. I don't know who's going to win this point. Oh, it's a drop shot. He's into the net. He's hit it down the line. Djokovic's gone for the lob. Smash. Oh, he wins so it. Good. 
Come on! Mate, that's going to mean the world to Karatsev. Djokovic is tired. Mate. He's outlasting him in the long this rallies. Is, that is so mate, telling, you know? How bi- I'm not even lying to you guys right now. When you started watching this match, and in the first three, four, five games, did you expect to be seeing rallies like this when we came in? We're now two hours, 20 minutes in. We're not even at the end of the second set yet. And these guys are going tooth for nail, mate. This is unbelievable tennis. Yeah, agreed. From both players, actually. Yeah. Oh, look at that shot from Djokovic. Turn the screw or what? Yeah. And it's funny to see in the chat, we don't have everyone saying Djokovic isn't playing very well and that's why he's losing. They've all gone quiet, them ones now. And Djokovic all of a sudden is playing well. He's always been playing well. He had a little spell where he wasn't, but so did Karatsev. I think it's just been a very evenly contested match. Both players pulling up some spectacular shots. And I think it's just really telling that Karatsev's got the bravery and courage to be playing the way he is right now in this latter stage of this second set after being broken. Mate, I think there's a lot of people joining the chat after probably betting on Djokovic after going to set down, to be honest. That's what I think. Yep. There you go. Second serve. It's wide from Djokovic. It's 40-15. It was a great kick serve out to the backhand side there from the Russian. Now he's got a chance. Big serve is what you need right now. Do not be tentative. Yep. This is huge. If you can um, hold it, five all. Thanks to Ali Khan there saying, uh, I am Pac and your commentary is very brilliant. Oh, thanks very much, mate. Appreciate that. Oh, here we go. Drop shot, Djokovic. Karatsev into oh, the net. It's too good, mate. Djokovic. It wasn't really. I think Karatsev messed it up. He tried giving him the eyes and go the other way. I think he should have just played it safe. I think he just got his uh, racket. Uh, yeah, he, he tried, he tried top- being too clever. Tries to do top spin. She's chopped. She just changed the. Uh, nah, he had to get underneath it. He needed to get underneath it. I just think yeah, he no, chose the wrong way. Yeah, he tried but, to be too smart. No, but he tried to top spin it over. I reckon he should have just chopped it. He would have got underneath it easier. Okay, fair enough. All right. We're no, we're no experts. <laughs> great Wait, return from know. Djokovic there. There we go. We go forehand. Great angles there from Karatsev. Great angles from Djokovic. Backhand. Forehand Karatsev down the line. Cross court from Djokovic. Cross court. Karatsev. Djokovic drops it in his service box. Oh, oh Djokovic. God. Oh, Djokovic. What a shot. Look at him. He's bigging up the crowd now. He's going absolutely mental. <laughs> and so God. is you. What are you doing? Pull yourself together, Ben. You're losing Mate, the plot. <laughs> that has to be like shot of the match. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that is. That is actually phenomenal. I think we need to give that... him his button just for that alone. Yeah, I think so. There's actually there's some goosebumps now coming for this one. There's everyone on their is on their feet giving him a stand innovation for what was probably the best shot of this whole match. It and was. I'll tell you what, we've probably seen about 20 contenders. No, it was incredible. And that that round of applause went on for about a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a special moment. It reminds me of um from Ronaldo was playing for Real Madrid and he scored a crazy <laughs> goal. And the opposition fans just stood up and started applauding him as well. Oh, what a shot from Djokovic. He's gone with the drop shot. Karatsev's in. He's gone with the angle. Oh, Djokovic oh again. It's going to be set point for Novak Djokovic. This tennis is from the gods. Where has Djokovic found this level from? It's honestly outstanding. Karatsev can't do much more, personally. He should have gone down the line, really. I don't, I don't think he can do much more. He's just, do, he's just doing what he can. He's in absolute shock and agony right now. He screams out. That's going to be set point Novak Djokovic. And you've got to say, it's pretty deserved as well. We've got Rohit Rowat there saying, help. He just staked $890 <laughs> on Djokovic at 2.65. Can't see the match here in India. Who's looking to win it? Well, I must admit... You must be very happy right now. We've got set point Novak Djokovic. We're big, this close uh, to a third set. It's gone down the line. It's big. It looks like it's going oh. out. It's in. How has he got that in? 
He's still in this rally. That is unbelievable. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. I, I, that for me just means it's. I think it's, he he's, got it. It. He's, he's got it. it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh my gosh. Novak Djokovic. I've never seen tennis like it. It's unbelievable. And we're one set apiece now. Can you. Can you believe it, really? That do you see the way Djokovic ended that set? He just played up to go, he's like, Yes, I have arrived. And ever since that shot landed on the baseline yep. from that massive shot, can and it dropped in. You just knew, you just knew it was his set. You knew he was not going to lose that point because that was uh, incredible. How did he get that shot back in? It was mate. it was like he'd lost the point, but it landed in. Mate, I, I don't think it's doing it justice watching this match live. I can't wait for the highlights to be released to actually watch it again <laughs> because I can actually take it in at my own time and just dissect every point because it is that good. I have to watch this this match again, no doubt about it. Um, I just can't keep up with the, the, the ebbs and flows mm -hmm. of it, to be fair. You need to remember Karatsev was 4-2 up. Djokovic wins four on the bounce, takes the second set. This third set, mate, I don't think it's a certainty Djokovic wins it. And the reason being is Karatsev's level hasn't really dropped that much. He's both, he's playing equally as good as Djokovic. Djokovic, though, he's just found that extra gear. And I think it's experience. He's got that extra experience and that extra flair at the big moments. And at the end of the day, that's, the, that's, that's what's telling right now. It is indeed, mate. Well. I want to say thank you for everyone who has joined us for this uh, live watch along. And I want to say uh, we we bring you a lot here on Games of Love. We like to bring you uh, some live watch alongs, uh, but we also like to bring you some, uh, some uh, tennis games. If you want to come and play against me and JG in our Discord, we play on Tennis Clash and you can come and play against us. You probably do better against me than JG. But this will show you what it's all about. And we are back. Here we go. Novak Djokovic is serving first in the third set. And it is love 30. Sorry, I just tried to have a little bit of a toast. My girlfriend brought me in a nice little uh, bit of bruschetta there. Mm, delicious. Because I really appreciate that. She's a superstar. Love 30 here, though. <laughs> I'm saying that was the slickest promo ever. Yeah, if you want to play myself or JG on Tennis Clash, jump in our Discord. There is a link in the description. There is also a link pinned in the live chat. Uh, if you want to donate to the channel, we're not going to stop you. Trying to uh, we re refresh it every single month. Uh, Thomas Rock at the top at the moment. Chris Smear is close to overtaking him. Jordan's in there. Uh, yeah, if you want to get on that top tippers board, jump in and uh, hopefully 
you might be able to get onto that board and overtake these guys. They seem to be uh, regular top tippers, so we appreciate all you guys. If you haven't liked the video yet, guys, don't want to have to remind you. Come on, guys, help us out. Like the video. There's 300 people in. If you all like the video, it'll really help us out. Djokovic there, big serve. Long from Karatsev. That's a waste. So, 30 all. Novak Djokovic doesn't want to get broken straight away here in this third set. It is big one. Karatsev holds his uh, interesting pose, doesn't he? He has an interesting pose for receiving serve. I want to say thanks to uh, everybody joining us in the live chat. We've got a few people, uh, a handprint saying the sickest promo ever. Ma uh, Man Vantra saying that the, the commentary is the best. And it's long from Djokovic. We got break point early on here in the third set. It is Karatsev. Don't forget Djokovic dominated the end of that second set. He was he, he was close to arrogant there at the end of the second set, just celebrating with all the uh, Serbian fans. Karatsev looking to silence them right now. Not that there's that many there. There's not that many. Great serve there from Djokovic. That's that serve that he's really started uh, turning on this year, really making that into a, a point of a, his game where he just saves break points with big serves. Fantastic to see. Juice, Karatsev, still with a chance, though. And uh, thanks there to Man Vantra saying uh, your commentary uh, just makes me so involved with the match. Just plain crazy. Remember me, Karatsev versus Rublev match and the Sinner Hatchinov match. Well, remember the Sinner Hatchinov match for sure. Remember all those juices. It was about. 40 juices or something ridiculous in that match. I don't even remember. Ridiculous. Oh, Djokovic hits the net cord. Karatsev goes down the line. Djokovic. Oh, he's kept it in play. Karatsev goes down to the forehand side. Karatsev steps in court. Oh, he's gone wild. And the crowd cheer that bad shot from Karatsev. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't be cheering that, to be honest. It was a bad shot. It was just a bad shot from Karatsev. He stepped in. He hoped to take this. Uh, well, he hoped to take that point by the, uh, the the rough of the neck, and he just ended up just spooning it wide. If that's the right uh, expression. How we doing, Ben? Yeah, mate. Uh, oh, good job shot from Djokovic. He's into the net. He's gone down the line. Djokovic, volley! Come on, he's back to juice. Come on, Aslam. Mate, I can't believe it still it seems that this match is just... Uh, I've been trying to follow it as much as possible. It's just continued, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> More of the same from that second Literally. set. We've seen a break point from Karatsev. Couldn't <laughs> <No>. take it. <laughs> what did he do on break point? Was it a, a ball nah, job? Djokovic serve, mate. It's just too good. Just oh, a right. clutch serving, mate. They are really good first serves. Uh, I think it's just the, the, the point with Djokovic. Look at that. Oh, it's close to an ace there from Djokovic down the tee. Yeah. Hasn't... That's I think I the wanna... serving is going to be the biggest factor now in this third set. One, whoever serves best is going to win this match. Yeah, I mean, let's have a look at the first set. First set, we had a uh, first point, a percentage of first uh, serve points won, 69% to 50. Second serve was, yeah, Djokovic, 77%. It's, it's, the, telling, point, it's the telling factor, mate. You've said it. Yeah. So, first I think, serve. Like you said, the first one. serve is the biggest thing. And if, if Karatsev is able to break here and then hit some really good first serves and just make sure that that percentage is super high, he wins the match. Sorry, Sevraj. Uh, yeah, you can probably catch you on a gambling channel. Maybe jump in our Discord. There's some guys in there who might be able to help you out with a link. Uh, or also, they might be on a. Uh, I think it's what, on Amazon if you live in Amazon, the UK. is it? Yeah, or Tennis TV. There we go. There we go. Anyway. Ah! Back to it's juice, mate. It's going to be a really long match, this one as well. I don't know if you've seen the time on the thing. You've got two hours, 23 minutes so far. You'd expect it to be well over three hours, especially that it's caught in a juice for so long here as well. First game of 
this third set. Don't forget, Djokovic has had the advantage on both of the first two sets yep. going forward. He has been three love up. He has been two love up. Is this now Karatsev's chance to take the advantage? Great serving from Djokovic. Yeah, just unbelievable. So clutch at the big moments yeah. there. Massively clutch, massively clutch. And uh, have we got some uh, women's matches going on? I don't know if you've covered them. Did uh, you talk about them? I didn't speak about them, though. No. I wasn't sure. I saw some women's stuff in the chat. I wasn't sure. Halep's Maybe if you just heard. lost. Okay. So Sabalenka's just there. knocked out Halep. All oh, right. Okay. I'm just, I'm just is, catching uh, up now on some of the other matches. Obviously, this one has been going on. That's helped so out Mertens my bracket, beat though. Things. We saw that earlier. Barty, we saw that. and so, Oh, yeah. Halep. Yeah. Amazing from Sabalenka. What a scout. I had uh, Sabalenka beating her as well, which is good. Oh, nice. Crack. Well played. I don't have uh, Sir Steyer going so far. This is probably one you should have <laughs> probably. Mate, I have Sir Steyer in every tournament apart from <laughs> this one. <laughs> Here we go. It's back at juice, mate. Yeah, I can confirm, guys. We will be doing the final tomorrow in Barcelona. Nadal Sitapas. It is the final which everyone really wanted for that one. We don't have a time yet confirmed. Uh, on here it says 9am, but I don't think that's actually been nah, updated it'd be, yet. It'll so. be mid, it'd be similar times to today. Maybe about two o'clock. I think I think the uh, the match today started at 12:30, so it'd probably be about run around about one o'clock in the Barcelona for in UK time. And yep. this one started at four, so it'd probably be around similar time, around four, half four. Yep. Want to say fun. thanks to uh, uh, who was it? Yeah, Sevraj, just saying you guys have an insane commentary. <laughs> Love it. Greetings from Romania. Appreciate that, bud. Really do. Love all the kind words. Yeah, back to advantage now for Djokovic. Can he get I a know. big serve here? I didn't think go. he would. Mate, when we thought it was going to be a big battle, I don't think Djokovic was expecting this level from Aslan Karatsev. No, I don't think so. After he certainly this, didn't get it in the Australian Open. No, that's what I mean. I think Djokovic had his way with him in there, but maybe Aslan's uh, just, uh, just thought, sod it. Who cares? Like, what? Oh, great shot from Djokovic down the line. Stayed in this rally really well. Correct. Well done. Nah, it's that's big. long, though. That's one too many. And Djokovic roars, and he's on the board in the third set. He holds his serve and leads now one love. <laughs> How often do you see Djokovic roaring just to hold his serve in a yeah. match? <laughs> ridiculous. Mate, just look at the break points one there. So you've got five out of 18, 18 one for Djokovic. <laughs> And five out of 11 for Karatsev. Neither of them really converting many break points. Just showing their resilience, actually, on uh, on saving them, to be fair. If anything, Karatsev, he's he's uh, managed to put away half of his break points, whereas uh, Djokovic is a third. Yeah. So, And it, it seems like a crazy... It seems like an eternity ago that Djokovic now is leading this match. Yeah, it really does. It's, it's right, right at the beginning, wasn't it? That's the only time. And now he is. He's one game up in this third set. Uh, Karatsev doesn't want to let the scoreboard pressure get to him. Can he pull this back and keep this on serve? He had some, well, some big chances there in that uh, first game. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, oh, sorry. Hiccups. Too many beers, mate. You don't say. I know. So many. <laughs> Like me yesterday. Oh, mate. I didn't get to oh, see it. Djokovic on the floor. Oh, oh I, didn't, I didn't think he needed to hit that shot, but fair play. He did it. 15 he love. Does it. He always does it, mate. He always hits it. Yeah, don't forget, guys. We'll probably be bringing you some draw pe uh, previews tomorrow. we got Esther Real. We've got uh, Munich in Germany. Yep. Oh, I uh, think all the qualifiers have been going on today. So we'll be doing them draw previews probably tomorrow after the final, maybe an evening one. Uh, yep. So make sure you join us for that. If you've not joined our Bracket League as well, the link is pinned in the chat. Um, and also it's in the description. You can join that free of charge and we will be giving away prizes for the winners. So if you can beat me and Ben, why not? Test your tennis knowledge against ours. Indeed, mate. And I say that lightly because usually we're near the bottom. So It's an interesting one in that... Uh... And uh, the Estoril uh, challenge, well, not challengers, sorry. It's sort of like two challenger players who are sort of playing each other. Uh, Estoril, we got uh, Carlos Alcaraz playing Tanon Greek Spore, mate, today. He demolished him. 
really no, good. I'm really impressed with, with breezed uh, past him, which is the I'm bookies so are crazy though. The bookies had him at like one point one six or something. <laughs> mental. Really, so yeah. mad. Oh, uh, well, maybe they're on, right, Cara. mate. They, he did blitz him, <laughs> mate. And we had, We've got uh, a good Tom... question here from Hendrick saying, who has the best mentality on tour outside of the big three? It's a well, good question. Moment, it's a pass. <sighs> Let's think what you mean by mentality. I think um, I think Medvedev has a very strong mentality as well. I don't know, mate. Uh, for me, uh, at the moment, it's a pass. Yeah, it's a pass. What a winner he's in, he's in No one form. even cheers for Karatsev's winners. Come on, you... Like they're, they're too nervous. The fact that I think that when they all cheered for him in that first set and he won the first set, something's been said around that stadium because there's no <laughs> one's cheered that any winner Karatsev's done in the last two sets. Yeah, come on, give the guy a break for crying out loud. I was gonna say Christ's sake, but he's in the chat, so I don't want to use his name <laughs> and blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, 40 15, two game points here for Karatsev to tie it up. Your mate's uh, player's gone out as well. Oh, gosh. Another one into the Liam, net. Liam's favourites. Liam's favourites. Yeah, Fabiano's gone. Yeah, it's, it's Not gone good out enough. To, gone out to... Uh, who did he go out to? He went out to Munar, mate. Sad yeah, well, to, to be expected. Yeah, never mind. Anyway. So, 40-30. A big... This is a mass. Every game's big right now. Yeah. And people were saying, I'm surprised Ben isn't cheering for Novak. Yeah, usually you are, but I think Karatsev oh, is bigger than anything. Oh, forehand. Has he dug that out? I think he has. He has. That's How mad. has he dug that? What a smash. Come on. <laughs> hey, that smash is incredible. I think we give him his button. Just give him this boost yeah. in this third set. Surprised I'm not cheering for Novak. Do you see my T-shirt? What are you doing? See this guy? Come We've on. Seen it. So here we go. One all in the third set. Didn't write Tokovic. a song for no reason. It's a brilliant song as well. If you do want to check out the full song, uh, there's a lot more lyrics. Obviously, just that little snippet. It is on our <laughs> channel. Um, yeah, so go check it out. Give it a like as well. It's on about, I think, about 7,000, 8,000 views. It's quite good. Close. Yeah. Could do with him winning. Hopefully after this dollars. one. If he wins this one, maybe it might be able to push nah. the, the Karatsev song over 10K. Mate, if he wins another tournament, I think it's going to go uh, into overdrive. <laughs> Big serve. Mate, I'm not I'm not happy with the Belgrade uh, fan, uh, crowd right now, to be honest. I'm a bit too uh, predictable in there. In the way they're supporting this match now. It's always the way, though, man. With a hometown, they're always going to support nah, that. No, but they've changed. they changed. You shouldn't have ever cheered for Karatsev if you weren't prepared to cheer him all along. They cheered him for one set, and now they got Maybe against... they were just cheering the good tennis. No, they were cheering him on, mate. It, he had it a break did look point. like it, because it was on break point, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was on break point. They cheered for him to beat Novak, and now they're not cheering him. Anyway, he's won. He's broken Novak and won multiple games, and they didn't cheer once. There's been silence. That's why we've been going, did he break? <laughs> did he? Yeah, I can't true. tell. Yeah, you've got a point. I'll give you that, mate. I don't uh, like it. It's fair weather. I just think, mate, I don't like it. I don't like the fans there. Uh, like, either support them or don't support him. Yeah, well, fair enough. We've got Coco saying, do you reckon Karatsev's heard the song you've made for him? Definitely. We did send it to him. Mate, and we're pretty confident it. he's seen it because Mate, he did a little emoji back, didn't he? He replied to me. He's uh, friends with Marchenko. Marchenko's yeah. definitely seen it. He's definitely replied to me, Karatsev. He knows it's been seen because I told oh. him that uh, it was posted on Eurosport. So he was like, oh, my God. That's <laughs> why so he replied to me. Go. Got some big hitting here oh, from Djokovic. It's baseline stuff here. It's a long, it's long, it's it's long from Just Djokovic. 15.30 now. Where's he going? Another racket? Going to go and tell the fans to cheer for him a bit more and start booing the opposition now? Or what's he doing? 
Sorry, I'm just going completely against Djokovic now. Yeah, Normally, I'm not, I'm pretty, but I'm pretty. Uh, I, won't, I, won't, I won't stand for it today. I think you're talking nonsense at times with him. I think you're being a bit too harsh on Djokovic, and uh, you've got to be honest. What he's done here today has been nothing short of remarkable. I'm really super impressed with both players, and Djokovic has made this the spectacle which it is. Man, I've just got to be Karatsev through and through. So whether it means me being biased towards Karatsev and hating on Djokovic today, I'm going to have to do it. Oh, not an ace. It was an ace. No, it is an ace. <laughs> not an ace. I thought, I thought it was an ace, to be honest. And then Karatsev just stood there. He didn't move. <laughs> Maybe he was just shocked. 30 all. There we go. Djokovic serving. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to Game to Love yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. We've got 161 likes. There's 300 people in. Come on, we can get 300 on there. Oh, he's whipped one there. Djokovic's oh, going to go the same way, uh, isn't he? No, oh, he's, he's switched looped, it up. He's looped it up. Can Djokovic smash it? He has. Oh, it's quite passive, though, down the middle, yeah. but that's all Could've we needed to do. Could have got that. <laughs> Uh, I, I think, think it was it just a up. little bit out of his reach. Gave I know what you mean. It. it was close. I think he thought he was going to hit a bit more uh, at the other side, so he gave up on it a bit. Agreed. There we go. 40 30. What's your there score prediction then for this one? Oh, mate. Don't give me. Do you still points. believe in Karatsev? You still think he's going to win this? I never said he was going to win it. <laughs> I'm just oh, happy. Mate. When he was up in the break, you oh, was all over Karatsev oh, with drop it. Shot. Yeah, he holds. And I'm going to be I... honest, from the beginning, I said this. I said, we're going to see three sets. I said that because we had Christmas saying Karatsev won't even get five games. Yeah, I said he's, he's going to take a set. Where's your five games, But Christmas? ultimately, I think Djokovic is going to win the match. And I still stand exactly by that prediction I made at the start. I think he wins this in three. Um, five games. I'm not sure how it's going to be this third set. Is it going to be a total whitewash? I don't think so. I think it's going to be still pretty close. Well, Maybe like a 6-3 or 6-4 or something. <laughs> I would love it if they played the Karatsev song in the uh, break, just to rattle Djokovic a little bit, <laughs> just so that we could have a little bit of like, he'd be like, we're in Belgrade and the and the Karatsev song comes on. I think, Doc I think uh, Karatsev would be a bit embarrassed by it, though. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know if it would, would, it would actually help I, him it'd out. It probably ruined Karatsev's rest of his match, to be honest. It would never be the same again. He'll be back in the Challengers next week. Oh, mate, don't say that. I don't want to see him back there. We've got Gopal there it. saying 6 3 Djokovic win. Let us know your predictions in the chat. I want to see some score predictions. We've got uh Ithiok saying no know that for me as well. Interesting. This is a big, this is a big next game. If he doesn't hold this game, it gets broken. Then it's 3 1, then it's 4 1, then it's potentially 6 3, 6 2. Yeah. I I mean it's it runs away from you. Once you're four, yep. once he's got the four. It's just, it's hard to come back, isn't it? Well, he did it in the first set, didn't he? I know it was only yeah. three, but he, he did really well then. Yeah. yeah, but do you think it's the same player as the first set? I don't. I think right both now. of them are just playing very consistent tennis from I think really, Djokovic... from, from the second set onwards, to be fair. Do you think it's been Djokovic... high quality stuff. I think Djokovic was 10 times the man he was in the first set. And uh, he's playing those drop shots so well right now. They're, they're really catching Karatsev out. And, uh, I think that could be the well that that could cause Aslan's demise. Those drop so, uh, drop shots. Sorry, yeah. Let's get my words out. <laughs> Can't even speak. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Mate, you're going to enjoy watching yeah. it back. That's for sure. Oh, I ain't going to watch it back. <laughs> I can't watch three hours of me screaming at Aslan Karatsev. Come Might be on. four hours. Yeah, the way this is going. Oh, come on. It's going to go to five sets. I think we've got. I think we've got another <laughs> another hour here somehow. Oh, mate, can you imagine? Well, I'll mate, tell you what, though, Berrettini. I know he's got to get through um, his match later on, but if he can, he's going to probably rub his hands together. The hammer. These two are going to be exhausted. And with his big power strokes, maybe he now could be a big favourite going into the final. Oh, and there you go. The oh, oh, Mate, this is... Oh, I don't like this. Yeah. Uh, I'm not happy at the moment. I, I've got a bad feeling. And... Mate, I'll tell you now, Djokovic is breaking this one here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I happy. hate to burst your bubble, Ben. Jockey is going to break. It's already, I'm already on the brink of bursting, so it's not like a, 
It's not like a complete burst. I'm really like on the edge. The fact that Djokovic is ahead in the match makes me more nervous than anything. Yeah. As soon as he's ahead. And he's missing now, first serves now, Aslan. He's missed right, another he, one He there. turned the whole crowd against Aslan. He's just like, he's he's made them rub the clay out differently to help himself. It's just oh. great shot, Aslan. Is that bubble getting blown up again? May it might be. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. It only takes a few magics a moment, mate, and then I think your mood's going to be changing around again. May it will. If he just he's more than capable. Straight, every time he holds a serve or wins a game, I'm in. I'm back in again. I'm back in. Unless he's been uh, broken. You got Snilsad. It's already burst. <laughs> it is a little bit. Victoria's going. It's what we're on serve, the mate. Set. We're on so, serve. Victoria saying Djokovic about oh! to win the third set and the whole tournament. Is that in? Come on, that was in. Come on, check that. Check that. Get over there quicker. Stupid umpire. <laughs> Steady on. It's not out. What are you talking about? <laughs> you no. can't see. You can't see from there. You can't either. <laughs> mate, he can't see nothing. So what's happened? Is it that's Djokovic's point? 15-30. Oh, mate, this umpire's terrible. It's a dubious one, I must admit. It looked very close. Mate, this umpire and he's sacking. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I've got bad feelings for this game. Yeah, Down the line. Great man. shot. Come on, that's him. Come on. He's close now, though, mate. I do, I do sense it. I know what you mean. Djokovic is looking on the verge yeah, now mate, of breaking. It's worrying. It's worrying. He seems to, like, all the roars are sort of died down. He's just doing no, the his main game, thing going that, about um, his stuff. The main thing that worries me is just the, the fact that the, the fans are all cheering just for him. No one claps when Azam wins a point. It's so biased towards him now. I hate it. To be fair, I have no sound oh, He missed I've the ball now. Yeah, he's now probably Karat slightly fatigued. He's looking at the floor <laughs> like, like it bubbled it's... up. Must be that clay Djokovic removed. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, I didn't see no bubble there. I think it's just a bit of fatigue there. Djokovic removes the clay. Aslan gets a dodgy bounce. That's the story of the match. Break Do point. Mate, well, I think that's just a sign of things to come. Good Down serve. the line. It's big. Djokovic, he takes it on the volley again. He's lobbed it up. The smash is big. He's got it oh. at Djokovic. Is it back in? It's in. Oh, he's reset the rally. I can't believe he's still in this rally, mate. Ah, oh, well done, Aslan. Oh, well played, Karatsev. <laughs> Does he there. stay in these rallies? 14 break save now for Aslan Karatsev. Both of them have saved so many. How does he stay in these rallies? I love what you said there as well. He just loves stepping inside. If the ball's up in the air, mate, you know he's going to be charging it. <laughs> he doesn't want it to bounce ever. It's like the floor's lava, isn't it? I mean, mate, literally. But Djokovic just goes whoop and it just lands like this far inside the baseline every time. I want I'd love to see what Djokovic's recovery drills are like. Yeah. Because he must be doing some crazy drills to be able to get that much accuracy. Probably just keep Why? playing at the best tournaments in the world and been doing it for so many years. I think that is enough drills in itself, there's mate. Definitely a lot of drilling goes into getting that recovery because there's no way you get it that angle back into court every time. He gets it every time. Yeah. It goes back in. Within... Well, I think it's his flexibility. That really does help, for sure. It's so, it's so well drilled. It's he does just, a lot of yoga and stuff it's like just, that. It's just incredible. I mean, look at that return. And fantastic. And now he's in the ascendant. Oh, it's a poor, poor shot there. From... He's cursed no one him. Cheered, no one cheered that one, did they? Hey, yeah. these, there's a lot of cheeses. 15 break save now. <laughs> <laughs> no one cheers. There's one guy clapping Karatsev in that crowd, and that's it. It's probably his mum. Maybe. If it was me, I'd be there, and I would be clapping him. I'd be Mate, cheering him If you was there, you'd have been evicted about I an probably, hour ago. I would have streaked on the on the clay court after the first <laughs> set. <laughs> you'd be in a prison cell, and I'd have to be posting bow to get you out. I think he's missed an easy shot there. That's yeah, terrible. Really he, unforced error. He's, he's tired now. He's definitely slightly fatigued. I don't think he thinks it's tired. I think he just... He's just hitting the wrong shots at the wrong times. That was the right shot down that no, line. But he's, no, but he hits it too wide. He's yeah, going... He missed it. That's what I'm saying, because he's fatigued. It's not. 
He is, mate. Aslan's, <laughs> Aslan's rattled. It might be rattled. Oh, big serve down the tee. Big inside out forehand. That's what we like. Come on, the Alliance. Mate, on the ad side, he serves well. It's the juice oh, side's no, a bit more. I hate, I hate it when you get these games when someone can only win on one side yep. and they lose on the other side. It's the most frustrating They thing usually to watch. end up being very long matches. And they all normally end up being broken. Yeah, that's true. Here we go. Juice. Just needs to win on the juice side. Come on. And then he'll lose on the ad side. Then it'll be the other way around. <laughs> big serve down the tee. It's big enough. Come on. Unreturnable. Mate, he just has to hang in this match. This match is just one. Mate, no, you never thought this match would be this epic, did you? In your wildest <laughs> dreams. We, we are big advocates for Aslan Kratsev, but we just did not see this happening like this. <laughs> the way it's panned out, it's just been remarkable, to be honest. And it would be the cherry on the cake to see him win it in the third. Um, right, I'm just I'd not sure it. if it's very likely now. Going out on the town tonight if he does. Another beer, it's I think. Wide, and it's there. It's game, Karatsev. He's done it. I actually Ooh. feel bad because I'd run out again of beer and it's getting a bit mad now. My girlfriend at one point brought me in food because she's probably worried about me because I haven't <laughs> eaten today. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no that is man. the worst combination ever. What were you doing in the break? You should have had a little spike to eat. We went to I the did. shop. We, we, we went to walk. To, I tried, went to the shop to try and get some paint. That was oh. it. I know, mate. But I, I had... Uh, so it was just paint? Mate, I think that's just got what's got to my head. It wasn't paint Sniff. stripper, was it? Because you'd probably yeah. drink it. <laughs> oh, is that wide? It's wide. Karatsev celebrates. Karatsev leads. In the match. Oh, come on. Yeah, this umpire's doing something right, friends. This is a slimmer umpire. I prefer that with the clay courts. No chubby ones on the clay. Can't have those. Uh, he's, uh, he's a little bit chubby. <laughs> you can't have, no, but you can't have the people who are slow down off the seat. Yeah, I, I actually agree with you on that. I think we should. Uh, we've spoke about it a few times. Yeah, but you can't. You can't. It's important. It needs to be a fast-paced sport. You don't want to wait too long for someone just to. Oh, great the return, Karatsev! It's into the net, and here we go. It's love thirty. Amazing returning. Great shout here from here, saying you should make a sinner song next. I would definitely be for that. Then, if you can yeah. work on something for sinner, that would be awesome. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forget we've got that little gem. I oh, know, mate. That is going to be a full song at one point. Don't you worry. Yeah, Sin is going to win something. <laughs> He's hot. Oh, it's double full. It's three break points. Aslan Kuratso. Oh. back. The, but the Ben Bubble is back. And we have three bait break points here for Aslan Karatsev. Can he take one? I'll tell you what. Aslan Karatsev, fantastic tennis player. Novak Djokovic needs to be a fighter right now. Right now, he's a dosser. And right Ooh, now. Oh, second serve. Nervy times. Ah, my knee. So I was trying to adjust myself. Ah, Shanker. Oh, good Shanker then. Mate, what a... Shank. Two break points left. Wasn't really a shank. I think that's a harsh one you've given. You've awarded him there. No Your boy, worries. Aslan. It went a bit weird. It went a bit like, what? Mate, this Sorry. is what we need. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, <laughs> Fortovich, my old friend. I like it. I like it. It's into and you the see Djokovic's face it's looking, into at the the, net. looking at the net. <laughs> it's into the net. And here we go. It is second serve. Double Fortovich. What's he got? We're all here with bated breath. What does he have? It's in. It's return. 
Karatsev attacks. Backhand to backhand. Oh, Karatsev. It's long. Painful. It's actually painful watching some of these shots because he does everything right. But right now, he's just he's bottling the big occasion. I, I have to say it, Ben. Uh, like, there's a big moment there, Love 40. And them two shots are simply not good enough. They're passive. No. They're very easy shots. And he's missed by some distance. And although he might be tired, he might be mentally uh, exhausted, have to do better there, I'm afraid. But he's still got another break point opportunity. He can turn that all round with a big shot Come on, shot Aslan. Here. Big return. This goes inside the service box. It's a great shot from Djokovic. It's yeah. too good. Yeah. And he's saved nine breaks himself. You can see his kid there roaring. <laughs> he's learned from, the, from his dad. <laughs> This is ridiculous right now. This match. It was a bad return, really. It came yeah. off of the wrong part of the racket. Yeah, he's not hitting the ball clean, is he, Karatsev? Strange. Uh, he seized up a little bit when he went love 40. Uh, and the level dropped slightly. Well, it was it was uh, thanks to those double faults, really. Oh, he's gone down the line. and go. He's hitting it smoother now, mate. Now it's not break point. <laughs> Doesn't like those pressure points. <laughs> oh, Djokovic with the power. He's into the net. Down the line, Karatsev back. Djokovic, these rallies are ridiculous. Oh, oh Djokovic. Going. Oh, he almost caught it. But there we go. Djokovic turned this around. Advantage now. He leads. Almino's disappointed. That was Aslan's chance and he's folded. I'll be honest. He's absolutely folded, mate. Still a mate. chance. Still a chance. Chill. Poor from him. Poor from your man. All right. Oh, it's a good return. Oh, great backhand. Great angles. Goes great angles. Djokovic. Oh, good on forehand. It's into the net. It's back to juice. There you go. He, mate, he's he, well in every rally. Mate, have a look at the point to point. I think we've seen juice on every single game of this of this third set. It's close enough. The first game, and then after the first that, few we've won, been, but then after how many break points? We have one yeah. game to love. Oh no, sorry, that's the second set. Apologies. Yeah, uh, there we have yeah. juice, so juice, 30, almost, 30, almost, juice, juice, juice. Yeah, both taking a lot of points off each other's serve. And look at all of these juices, and look at all these long games in this match. It's been a battle. Wow, There's no two Djokovic. ways of describing it. It's an absolute battle out here on court. Djokovic too good there. There's, on there's the not surf. really been anything settling uh, really between the two of them, which nah. just you have to give credit to Karatsev because he's come from nowhere. Djokovic is, is world number one, been on tour for ages, regarded as the greatest of all time. And Karatsev is keeping up with him. So <laughs> he is. Just, uh, what does level. that say about Aslan Karatsev? As level as you like. Oh, it's an ace! Wow, and what a way to uh, end out that game. And he is, yet again, so pumped just to hold his serve. Can you believe this? You've seen the biggest screams from Novak are coming from holding serve. Yeah. Can you Have you ever seen this from him? I've not. I have, I have a lot in recent years, I must admit. And uh, there we go. The Joker now leads. They're just showing that ace again and how much it means to him. <laughs> Look at his kid. His kid's going absolutely berserk. Oh, amazing scenes. You love to see it. He's going to be inspired by what his dad's doing. And rightfully so, because Djokovic is playing very well. Uh, what can Karatsev do? He was love 40, remember, on that last one. Wasn't able to get it done. Couldn't break him. Now he's got a serve to stay on serve. <laughs> we've got Jared asking what players you have videos for we've got we've got little buttons for more or less well <laughs> not all of them for all of the ones we've covered I believe in live watch alongs which is a, a lot, lot of, of videos you can go through on our channel and have a look and how many videos we have done uh, feel free to have a look at some other stuff we've done we've got some recent podcasts talking about Sitapath and how we think he is the biggest threat 
Um, two, uh, Rafael Nadal at Roland Garros. However, looking at these two, surely they'll, give, they'll run him close too. Aslan Karatsev maybe to knock out Rafa in, in the French Open. Wow, mate, that's the that's the big shout, isn't it? That's the big shout out. Yep. Who knows, mate? It could well happen. It could well happen. And what, what have we had here? Thirty-eight minutes in this third set. It's mate, a it's mon just... monster match. It's not even five. Three games. hours. <laughs> three. It's hours. not quite three hours, is it? Two hours fifty-two just minutes. Under. We've had three hours on the stream. Oh mate, I'm sad. This to is see. like a this is like a a, a five setter, mate. I'm sorry to see on the uh, football side of things, uh, West Ham down one in the big yeah. match. Sorry, yeah, not great. Well, uh, oh, well, you had ten men though. That's not fair, is it? Do we again? Yeah, you got ten men. Oh well, that's that then. Yeah, I had ten minutes to go. You had Balbuena sent off. All right. Well, anyway, back to the tennis. Fifteen love now, yeah. Karatsev. <laughs> Yes. Anyway, apologies for that. I just spotted it anyway. One of my mates sent me a WhatsApp, so uh, I just was uh, following up on it. 15 you can see Djokovic now. He's changed his T-shirt. No more red. He's sporting the white now. Maybe he's got one of these Aslan Karatsev T-shirts on. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Don't worry. Oh, no, Aslan. What is that one? <laughs> that was miles wide. Mate, don't worry. These are... Uh, these, uh, Karatsev t-shirts we'll be getting a few of them out soon surely yeah we are working on it we've got some people in the GTL community designing some extra merch just want to make sure everything's looking good we have some exciting news about a potential website coming soon as well so stay here on Game to Love for all the important news if you are a tennis writer of any kind and you enjoy writing tennis articles or any tennis content reach out for me reach out uh, to me on either Twitter DM Instagram in the Discord anywhere really uh, I'll get back to you. We've got about eight writers who are quite keen. Or so if it's Gmail. something you're interested in, or Gmail as well. Uh, uh, it'll be thought. great to hear from you. Yeah, on Gmail, game to love podcast at gmail.com. Yeah, yeah, so reach out. A double thought there from uh, Karatsev. Sort of returning the favor of what Djokovic has been dishing up to him. Yeah. So, and mate, you just kind of know this is going to be another juice game, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like it, doesn't it? Or well, maybe not. Djokovic could get it done earlier. Well, you never know. God, these two are in a real battle here. Yeah. Backhand of Djokovic. Backhand of Karatsev going down the middle of the court oh, now. He's missed it. Misses it again. And I think Karatsev looks slightly rattled in terms of... Yeah, I think he just looks like he's been becoming a little bit lazy. A little I think bit he, he's just he's a bit beaten down. He's just yeah. He knows how well he's playing. And in the let's be honest, against anyone else who he plays, he wins this match already. He's already in the changing room, I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Djok Djokovic Definitely. is getting them extra balls back. And he it's kind does. of just demoralized him. It's demoralized Karatsev. And he doesn't know he just doesn't know. Yeah, he doesn't have any answers right now. And we're starting to see him drag oh, things slightly wide. Nice. He's got a Double little ball. answer. Yeah. Mate, Needs I another think, one here. I, I think you're right though. I think Whenever you're playing Djokovic, like we were saying in those uh, last rallies in uh, those last games, you see him just, he's smashing it or he's hitting it and it just, it's looping it back in yeah. and it just drops in. Yeah. I just don't get how he gets it to drop in every time. He demoralizes time. the opposition at times. <laughs> yeah, because it, it doesn't just drop in. It drops in on the baseline. Look at that. I love that. Attack <laughs> Come it. Come on. <laughs> And he saves another break point. That's 18 break save for Aslan Karatsev. Beast numbers there. Um, and now we're back at juice. Yet again, how many juices are we going to see? Mate, I bet he, just... mate, he, could, he could do with this that, that same one-two combo yet again here. That's the remedy, isn't it, for all of the pains, the aches, the pains. Step in, volley, top spin, forehand winner. Big forehand. It's great return from Djokovic, but... Wow, look at this. I mean, this is great play from both players. God. Wow. I mean, oh, credit it's... to Djokovic. That is incredible. Yeah, the crowd are loving it, and rightfully so. This tennis is phenomenal. I think we, we, we've we done two epic matches today. We did Sitipas versus Sinner. 
we didn't think anything could eclipse it, but I think this one has, to be honest. Mate, this has been has. the best match of the day. It's been Mate, outstanding. It's, in, it's unbelievable. I, yeah. I just break point Djokovic, but I can't believe how well Karatsev played that point. And Djokovic still, every shot that came at him came back with interest. Yeah, that's true. There we go, oh, break point. Second serve now. It was uh, a terrible first serve as well. He missed by yeah. a long way. Uh oh, <laughs> out to the Djokovic backhand. Oh, it's nearly wide. He's staying backhand. Who's going to break first? Who's going to crack? Well, down the line. Great winner, Karatsev. Look at that. Mate, it's so good. It really is. 19 <laughs> break points saved from Aslan <laughs> Karatsev. Can you put it? You can't write this stuff, guys. Mate, if that's you... it. Uh, that's it. You've sold me. Karatsev is the new greatest of all time. I'm done. I'm sold. Get me a T-shirt. <laughs> Mate, I'll send you one over. <laughs> guys, if you haven't liked the video yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. This is ridiculous. If you're loving this match, hit that like button, help the channel out, and uh, join us uh, and hit the subscribe button. Oh, it's close there, that serve. You've got a second serve to, uh, to contend with here, though. Yeah, and as Mariam saying, there are uh, so many juices. <laughs> and uh, City it, it, It's Sinner. exhausting. I'm not even playing the match, and I'm absolutely exhausted from this affair. And Coco saying, uh, Sissy Sinner was nowhere near the quality of this match. Oh, the drop shot. Djokovic brings him in. Oh, he's hit it. It's the smash. Yeah, Aslan's in no man's land. Djokovic finishes it. Oh. <laughs> Mate, how do they still have this energy? Like, how is Karatsev getting to the net on that drop shot? <laughs> mate. Them calves, mate, are springing into action. He still kept it alive there. He then pulled it back. And just uh, from there, you've, there's no way Djokovic is missing it. But that just is outstanding. Out it really is. Outrageous. I'm sorry, but these rallies are incredible. And Djokovic, to have the uh, the forefront of mind to just finish that off, just so good, so composed. Very well played from him. He constructed the point, uh, the point, the point, the point very well. Karats him with his... Uh, he, he does it. Him. He's not missed. He's just not missed one. Let's be I honest. That run and charge, he's never missed one. That's 20 break save. He has a bit big serve to the backhand of Djokovic. Charges on the run, smashes a forehand. I think I've seen it maybe 10 times. <laughs> How many times has he run in and just top spin forehanded it away? He Wait, just if, you can, runs... if you've got that in your arsenal... Keep doing it because he doesn't seem like he's ever going to miss one. There we go. Oh, Back to no. Juice. <laughs> oh, into the net again. Oh. They're cheering him, hitting it into the net now. Sad to see from the Belgrade crowd. Break point. <sighs> this is a marathon. This is a marathon. It is a bit of a marathon. I want to say thank you again to everybody. We got 175 likes on the video but there's 374 people in come on guys if you're one of those guys who hasn't liked the video yet help the channel out and hit the like button it only is a quick click on a button but it does help us out a lot here we go it's a big rally here it <laughs> is long <laughs> and he saved another That's I, 21 thought, I thought that break. was gonna be another drive volley where he was gonna run in and get it luckily he left it he was thinking about it for a second 21 breaks saved by this guy. This Mate. guy here. Aslan Karatsev. 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 So I cut it short so I can watch the point. <laughs> it was enough. I'm too nervous right now to have his song playing. <laughs> yeah, I think you're on the button still, mate, because you froze. Sorry, yeah, I am on the button still. You're right. There we go, Djokovic. Oh, he's, he's Ooh. dragged it wide. He's dragged it wide. Advantage Karatsev now. We're this close. To I'm free nervous. All. I'm nervous. And I think mate, <laughs> Karatsev... What's the, what's the time of this game? 
he's exhausted Djokovic slightly in the fact that Djokovic <laughs> just wants it over the point. <laughs> Djokovic Please. is the guy, the mental giant. He just he can rally forever, it seems. Jo- I think here Djok- today, Karatsev's kind of taken him to the wire with it. Djokovic's uh, family's up there saying, you said this would be over like an hour ago. We've got dinner plans. The restaurant <laughs> booked. Why, why, why are we still here? <laughs> what are we doing? This was like, a part but, of, the, of the script. No, exactly. He's gone. Uh, he's playing it sensible. Oh, he's into the net and he holds finally. Come on, Asley. Well, I just want to say, guys, if this is the first time you've come to one of our streams and you're just seeing the Aslan Karatsev song, it's a masterclass by Ben. If you want to watch the full video, it's on our YouTube channel. Just search Aslan Karatsev official song and it will come up and you can listen to the whole three minutes of uh, wonderful, beautiful music. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> it is. It's very, very beautiful. So, uh, yeah, it's a very, very uh, lovely song. Yeah, no, mate. Uh, it's uh, it took a couple of days to make, and it was a bit of a spontaneous one. I'll pop it actually in the live chat if you haven't listened to it yet. Then you should. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm just gonna head to the toilet, mate. Is that for the mate? Side? You go for it. You it's go a bit, for of, a, it's a bit of a battle. You deserve it. So, mate, uh, this is <laughs> this is pretty crazy. We got Elena in there saying. Yes, Azan, go, go, go. We've got uh, <laughs> Midfield Maestro. These guys are going to feel it tomorrow morning. And we've got 6 3 Noel from Antonio. And we've got uh, ATP, like a like, match, like a Grand Slam. Oh, and it's into the net there from Djokovic. It's 15 all. Well covered on that side from Karatsa, though, I have to say. And Jared saying, last year, around this time, Karatsev lost to 340th ranked Saketh Mayin, uh, Mainina, Mainini, Mainini, in a challenger event. Now he is going toe-to-toe with Djokovic. It is amazing. Yeah, I well, exactly right. If you've been following this channel for a long time, we've been telling you for a long time, Karatsev is a guy you want to be interested in. He didn't have that good form for no reason. We spoke to him uh, before the Australian Open. Check out that interview. Down the line, what a winner from Karatsev. That's what I'm talking about. 15.30, JG, if (laughs) if you're in the toilet, just stay there for this minute because if that's a good omen that we need, just stay there. That's all I'm saying. And we've got Dishob Nair saying, Azan has nothing to lose. Well, got nothing to lose apart from a few points. So he will be moving up if he wins this match to overtake Fabio Fanini. Uh, and uh, if he was to win the final, he would overtake Dan Evans in 26th. There's a drop shot from Djokovic. It's into the net. We got two points. It's Aslan Karatsev. Two break points here. This is big. This is huge. The crowd are starting to get behind Aslan again. We got OK Meep coming in. We got Ritvik coming in. And Shavum saying, I first came to the channel right after the Australia Open finals in 2019. Great shot from Karatsev. Oh. Djokovic surprised it landed in. Going cross court, backhand to backhand. It's really powerful from Karatsev. It's long. He breaks. And there you go. Aslan Karatsev. 4 2.
That's right. He breaks. I want to say uh, thank you for everybody who's joining us for this one. I've What's noticed on? that there's Alexis who is in the chat. He's saying any link to watch. If you want to join into our live chat, we do have a, a well, there's a link pinned in the live chat. Jump in our Discord. There's going to be people watching it probably in there. Mate, Jump forget in. that. What has just happened, Ben? What has just happened? You have to fill mate, me in. I said, mate, I said it before you were away. I was like, I hope JG doesn't come back because <laughs> Karatsev is is doing a storm whilst you're away. What was the point? My point, mate. He stormed him. Absolutely stormed him. What to love? No, not to love. Fifteen. I think it was fifteen when I left. <laughs> After yeah, that, yeah. I just won every point. Exactly, mate. You left. Wow. And then, Fair mate, play, Aslan. Now. Do you need the toilet the again? <laughs> Mate, I might have to. <laughs> Mate, uh, um, as soon as he left, he started hitting the lines. He hit a couple of <laughs> he hit a, a couple of winners, and Djokovic hit it into the net a couple of times. Here we wow, go. And then Soren said, "It's not a break unless he." Consolidates. That's right. If you're new here to GTL, you know the rules. There's no breaks in tennis unless you consolidate. I want to say thank you, everybody, who is joining us. This epic yep. matchup with three hours, 20 minutes in. It's Aslan Karatsev. It's Novak Djokovic. If you haven't liked this video yet, what are you waiting for? Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. We are bringing you the finals tomorrow. But come on. Yeah. And will Aslan Karatsev be there? I don't know. He's got his upper break right now. He's got it all to do still. I think this hold here is going to be huge. We see it's a very much a repeat of the second set. He was up 4-3 there as well. And he got broken. Is he going to do the oh, same thing again here? It's into the net. And Dalmino, leave again, JG. Please. They <laughs> need you to go, We've got JG. Crystal saying, let's go to some of the comments people are putting in. So Crystal saying, love Karatsev, our new future world number one. <laughs> ah, I love it. Elena's going, he is my idol, about to climb in life. Richard <laughs> saying, Karatsev will now consolidate and take the match. Come on, Richard. SH, come on, Karats. Come Mary on. Mary saying, calm it's down. Long. <laughs> It's 30, love. We're going to get to the magic five. Come on, let's will him on. Let's get the positive comments coming in for Karatsev. Bring them on, guys. That's what we want to hear on GTL. He is a GTL elite player. We've spoken to him. He's an interviewee of GTL. Yeah, he is one of our own. We hold him in the highest regard. So let's do this. Great shot from Karatsev cross court. It's into the center of the court. Djokovic sliced down the line. Karatsev into the middle. Out inside out forehand. Djokovic. Too good. Oh no, it's landed in. It's still in. Is I it think in? It's still in. I think it's 40 in. Love. It's 40 love. love. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you believe it? I go Aslan. Fun fact here as well. Karatsev is actually Djokovic's childhood hero. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here we go. It's, it's, it's potential game to love. It's potential consolidation. It's potential everything right now for Karatsev. It is. It's a it's an ace. It's an, come on! Five free, Aslan Karatsev, one game away from the final in Belgrade. Great with three <laughs> points away. It's into the net from Djokovic. <laughs> Mate, I'm scared. I'm actually scared. If Karatsev wins, I'm scared. What you're gonna do? <laughs> I'm so am I. The this channel, could... the channel could be pulled. I'm scared. This, uh, this computer this might break. This could be break. the death of Game to Love. <laughs> the computer, I might break. <laughs> I got too many beers around an expensive computer. <laughs> I don't want. I don't like it. Here we go. Love fifteen. It's long. <laughs> It's love 30. Two points away. <laughs> two points away. <laughs> Mate, this is mental. This really is. Um, 
We've got 200 plus likes on the video. Thanks for that, Shavab. If you haven't liked already, please hit that like button. Aslan Karatsev now, two nice, points away that? from a place in the final. He steps in and he misses it. Mate, he missed really it. went for that one, like massively. He's missed it. <sighs> Mate, I, I just Sorry, don't want to see him serve it out. I just do not want to have to no, watch no, Karatsev no, serve no. it out. No, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Double fault of it. Where are you? There we go. First serve. It's into the net. Where's the fans now, huh? In Belgrade. Ah, uh, this is horrible. Big. It's down the line. Oh, Djokovic. <laughs> Fair play, Novak Djokovic. He knows the pressure's on him right now. It's the so eyes of the whole good. world are watching the match. And, mate, he just pulled out a spectacular it's shot. So good. But remember, it's, it's still only that, two points here. It's unbelievable, that shot. Do you realise the pressure? I know. Here we go. What a serve. Oh, what a return. Djokovic, he's into the net. Djokovic. Oh, he's into the net. He's got match point. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's match point. Aslan Karatsev. We had three hours, 14 minutes played. Karatsev won the first set, 7-5. Djokovic fought back, won the second 6-4. We now find ourselves in the third set. It's 5-3. Match point Karatsev. Can he end on a break of Djokovic's serve? This is, my, this is amazing. This big... is huge. Oh, it's into the net. It's juice. It's gone. Match point gone. Just like that. Really big serve. And Karatsev goes straight into the net. That's 10 breaks saved now. <sighs> Ben's got his hat off. He's only two points away. Losing my breath. He's it just went too quickly. Oh, great return. Oh, what a shot from Djokovic. He's got it in play. Djokovic! Yeah. Just well classed. Nothing, nothing left to say there. It's advantage Djokovic now. He's leaving every single sinew of energy on this court right now. Gosh, that, that is so was, good. Correct, they still clutch. running. Though. How's he that even running clutch. for that last one? That is clutch. He just Advantage brushed aside that it. match point, though. Yeah. He brushed aside it. It's like he didn't exist. Second serve. We've got 495 it's like we didn't people even have watching. A match. If you haven't liked the video yet, please like the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Come on, he's back at juice. <laughs> he's back to two. Yes, Djokovic looks around like, where, who is this guy? Who is he? Boy, let's do it! <laughs> let's do it right now, boy! Let's, let's, now's the time! Back to Juice. Here we go. Are we going to see another match point? 500 in. Give us a like. Great serve. Great return. It's down the line. Great return from Karatsev. Backhand for backhand. Oh, it's oh. great. Karatsev. Oh, it's... A... Oh. <gasps> oh, my gosh. There's no one on the stream. Uh... I don't know how... Mate, to be fair, Djokovic retrieving that is just... Yeah, it was so good. So it's, it's good astonishing. It's actually... A, it's not so human. So good. Guys, if you have a this, this is tennis from the gods. This is tennis right. from the gods. I'm announcing it now. You're announcing it now. It's official. Jesus has come down. Mate, we had him on the stream earlier, Jesus, and he was saying this was, uh, there's no good Wi-Fi up in heaven, but he came down just to tell us this is going to be a match of the ages. Great return. Djokovic, Dan, he's missed it. It's juice again. Karatsev, one more chance. <laughs> mate, mate, I don't know. It's been a story of juices. It's just ridiculous. The amount of juices we've seen. It's obviously three hours, 17 minutes now, this match. It's been a monster match. And just so many. There's nothing between the two players. Let's be honest. Let's get this straight. Oh, Ben's lost his mic. There's nothing between these two players. Never, I'm going to launch it across the room if he wins. Please don't. No, I'm not going to. I'm trying not to. Second serve. Second serve. Come on. Here we go. Second serve. It's, it's down the middle. Djokovic into the forehand side. Retrieved by uh, Karatsev. Great shot by Djokovic. Retrieved by Karatsev. <gasps> He's gone down to the backhand side. Retrieved by Karatsev. Into the forehand side. It's too good. Djokovic. <laughs> oh, my God.
as much to Ben's disappointment, the Joker's not going anywhere. He's pulling off some crazy go. shots here. He's and smelled. he holds all the pressure now. Shifts on to Aslan Karatsev. Can he serve this out for one of the biggest matches of his career to advance to a final of an ATP 250? I say one of the biggest. He's just he's already won one in the other week in Dubai. We've seen him in the semi-final of Grand Slam. But this is big, I feel. This is monumental. This is against the world 500. number one, Novak Djokovic, in his home turf. His family are there in, 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 the, in the stands. It's just going to be ridiculous. It's on a different surface now. We're on the clay courts and he's still going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the world's best. How good is Aslan Karatsev? Mate. And as Ben signals, it's only four points now. Four big four serves. serves away. Can he do it? I'm so nervous that I can't bear to even watch this right now. This is horrendous. We had a match point. I'm so sad that that went so quickly. It wasn't yeah. even like a tense one. It just went boom, gone. Yeah. Djokovic was just was like, yeah, oh yeah, you got match point. Oh, oh one sec, one sec. Went, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, you don't get another one of them for until you earn it. Yeah, and I think so, we just give uh, Karatsev his button. Hopefully for well, hopefully not for the very last time, but just to give him that little boost going in to serving out for this match. Come on, Azan. We've got Richard wow. saying Karatsev's already a winner. No matter what happens with this match, you'd have to agree with him there. He's definitely made himself a name today. No one can ignore Aslan Karatsev. It's a known, it's a known fact now. He is the man right now on, on form who people are, are scared of. There's no doubts about it. He can beat anyone. Mate. And here he is. After well over three hours of tennis, order. he's <laughs> serving out for the match. Yeah, right. aside from sort oh, quarter. It's his first service for sled for service. Yeah, it's ever quarter. <laughs> he has trouble against quarter. <laughs> Don't know why. Yeah. Quarter well. seems to have sussed out his game, I think. I think quarter has a very, very level head, mate. I think he's one to watch very, very much so for the future. Oh, mate, is that Ooh, uh, second, serve. second serve, mate? I don't like it. Let's have a look at some of those second serves. You don't want to stats. start off with a second serve, do you? 45%. No, 50% of second serve points one for Karatsev. Oh, they're just going down the middle of the court. No one's putting the trigger here. Djokovic oh, no. injects a little bit more power. This is just Some deeper I, stuff now. I backhand to backhand. Oh, it's Karatsev great. pushes it a little wider. Djokovic oh, on the stretch. It's into the net. And there we go. Love 15. Not the ideal no. start for Aslan Karatsev. This is like, this is the pressure that we don't need. He had the match point. It's horrible. We've I got hate Miller at this and I'm preparing excuses when Novak loses this match. <laughs> Mate, I don't know. I don't think it's over at all, really. We need just... big subs. Remember, big... Karatsev has had a match point and I think that was his best chance of winning this big match. I think subs. serving out here is tough. Big subs. Just get it right. I just missed it. Second serve. <laughs> I can't. Ah! Into the net. Another unforced error. It's love 30 now. And you've got to admit, they've both been poor shots from Karatsev. Djokovic hasn't had to do very much at all. Oh, he had his chance. No one wants to allow this guy to serve it out. And you've got Come to be on. realistic. You'd fancy Djokovic here to break. I know. As if this match hasn't gone on long enough. <laughs> oh, my God. Now he's turning it on a bit. Oh, down the line, Djokovic. He's on the stretch. Goes back and great angle from Karatsev. Down the line. Oh, winner! <laughs> oh! There's one. <laughs> He's one Come step on the boy. Right, I'm cutting that short. We gotta get back to this match.
<laughs> Sorry, that was a great shot. We need to celebrate the winners. The unforced errors don't get celebrated here on GTL. I know that the Belgrade crowd are celebrating Aslan hitting into the net. He's, but we're he's not. not hitting any first serves, Ben. He's not hitting anyone. Yes, I know. I can see it. Second serve. Okay, he gets it in. in down the middle. <gasps> Djokovic. Oh, it's nearly long. They're staying in on the baseline. Oh, it's long. It's two break points. Djokovic and the crowd go wild. Yeah. Djokovic has had, he's been given a lifeline here, to be honest. Not done too much. And Karatsev missed, made a few unforced errors. <sighs> is, this ta is this Djokovic's chance? Is, is this the turning of the tide? Do we see Djokovic break here and then hold his serve? Because that would be absolutely gigantic. Mele saying Ben's losing his mind. Yeah, he's, he am. lost it a long time ago. I lost it earlier. Oh, he's gone down the line. Djokovic just dug it out. Can he smash it away? Yes, he can. Yeah, he fancy him from there. Needs to force the juice here <sighs> one more time. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for this epic semi-final in Belgrade. Can you believe it? If you haven't liked this video yet, what are you guys waiting for? Please help out our channel and like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. We're bringing the finals tomorrow. So join us for those two. One more break point. What can Karatsev do? He's going to want a first serve here. Oh, it's a good serve. It's he a good return. One. Oh, God. The return goat's done it, though. Oh, he's going to slice. Djokovic going top spin. They're going backhand to backhand here. Oh. oh, he's gone forehand to backhand. It's into the net. It's going back to juice. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's two Turbo points in. yet again, but this time there's a difference on these two points. He's going to be in Come full on. control. Come he has got two serves to actually win this match and advance to the final, where he'll, he'll face either Berrettini or Taro Daniel. Two points away, yes, Vance. We are streaming the Barcelona final and the Belgrade final. Both of those will be coming to you tomorrow. Terry saying this is Your horrible. Is Doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Here we go. Juice. Big serve. Djokovic, great return. Down the line. Djokovic, he's, a, uh, oh, he's hit the volley. Oh. Razan, it's a volley. So he's done it. He's got match oh, point again. He's got another one. One of the biggest serves ever now. He just needs to hit the serve. Oh, my God. Wow. All right, everyone breathe. Everyone stay calm now. Can Aslan win this match? The crowd look nervous. Over. What am I doing? Karatsev looks slightly nervous as well. He's bouncing the ball right now. Djokovic looks prepared. You can't see Djokovic missing this return, can you? Karatsev serves it up. It's going to be a second serve. He misses by some uh, way. my beer over. It was a nervy first serve. No. What a bad time. Yes! yes! Come on! Aslan Karatsev is the champion. He's defeated the world number one, Novak Djokovic. And there's only one man in the final. Aslan Karatsev. 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 Yes, boy! Aslan Karatsev is in the final. Change that flag, JG. There you go, son. Aslan is in the final. Can you believe it, mate? What a match, mate. I can't believe it. I can't believe that. I'm, actually, we just I'm actually shocked. I cannot believe what I've just witnessed. It is remarkable. It was one of the best performances I've ever seen. One of the most competitive tennis matches I've seen in a long time. Both players hitting winners from every side of the court. And Ben's point at the T-shirt, there's only one winner, and that is the Lion, Aslan Karatsev. He will be in the final. And you'd think he would be uh, facing Matteo Berrettini. He's purring. He's purring right now, Does that now, make mate. one He's off you, Ben? He's purring right now. Is he the he favourite? Is. Mate, he is purring. He is going as I'm purring, as I'm stroking that t-shirt, mate. He is through. He's beaten world number one.
Novak Djokovic, you you might play him once. You beat him on the hard courts. Mate. Guess what? Hard courts aren't his thing. He's a clay court man. He's now on the clay courts. Guess what? He's just taken out world number one, Novak Djokovic. He's taken him out in his hometown in Belgrade. Can you can you write a story like well, this? Well, I tell you what, you've got the you've got the race for Turin going across the bottom right now. And for Karatsev, it's looking amazing. Like he's gonna be in Turin, I think. I, I can't see a way that he doesn't qualify. He's been just so solid this year to beat Novak Djokovic in Belgrade. It's an achievement which not many people can say they've ever done. The nature of doing it after being pegged back in that second set. How many people's heads would drop? His didn't drop. How many times when he was facing all these, he had a match point, wasn't able to take it, then had to serve it out. It was He, he had two break points to face. It's a monster match. And he's a monster it guy. Was... The, the, the geezer's incredible. Aslan Karatsev can go all the way to the top. Watch out, mate. Roland Garros, watch out every tournament what's coming because no one will want to face Aslan Karatsev. He's simply that good. <laughs> Thomas Rowley saying, Ben's ready for a big night out with Dan Evans in London. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> mate, I am. I am. I'm ready. Well, Come how's on, your Dan. Laptop? You didn't spill the beer on your laptop, did you? Mate, no, no, no. It went to, like around the sort of cables at the side, but I managed to mop it up with some... Uh, Whatever I had. Uh, spare. We've got Jojo saying he's loving your reactions, Ben. Uh, <laughs> and we, you know, saying loving it, Ben. You're a beast. <laughs> he Come certainly on. is. Come on! Can you believe it? He just beat, mate. I'm not. I'm not overreacting here. He just beat Djokovic in Belgrade, the Djokovic Open. He just knocked Djokovic out of his own tournament in Belgrade. He just beat Djokovic. He turned the tables on him. He lost to Djokovic in straight sets in Australian Open. Yeah. He's now come back on the clay and he said, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, by the way, you beat me uh, in straight sets in Australian Open. Do you realise I'm better on the clay? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, watch this. Bang, you're out in your own tournament. See you later. Gone. And now he's in the final. Come on, Aslan, the boy. Well, I don't go. have to ask. I'm assuming you're covering the final then tomorrow with Aslan Karatsev. Now nah, I'm out tomorrow, mate. But uh, yeah. You... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got Liam Holdaway there saying Dan Evans. He likes a little bit more than beer, though, I thought. Hopefully you're not into all the sniffy sniffy as well. <laughs> well, maybe you've had a bit of sniff in the halftime break earlier today by the looks nah, of it. Nah, mate, none of that for me. Just these, the, the transparent Heinekens for me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up there. Ben's going to get on the water and have a little detox. But there's one thing which is a certainty, and that's Aslan Karatsev. He's in the final. We're going to be covering the Barcelona final tomorrow. Tomorrow, You've got Sinner versus Sitipas. Um, No, you don't. Sorry. You've got Nadal versus Sitipas. <laughs> we had Sinner, Sitipas today, and Sinner got knocked out. Who's Skinner? Mate, sorry, I'm losing my words. I've been on here for, I've been on here for almost four hours. I'm exhausted. <laughs> We're going to get some food. A big thank you to everyone who's been watching. I love it. I if love it. If you haven't already, please, please leave us a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit the bell and we'll see you tomorrow for a lot more tennis action. We've and, it, got, and we've got well, one last message from the main man himself. Take it away, Ben. Mate, it is tomorrow. We have got, well, it's going to be Rafael Nadal versus... Stefano Sitipas. If you're not excited for that one, you don't even like tennis. So join us for that one. Join us for the next match. It's going to be Karatsev versus, well, Berrettini. it's either Berrettini or Taro Daniel. Join us for both of those tomorrow. If you don't, I don't know what you're doing. Like This is the place to be, mate. I, I'm so stoked for this matches today. This has been, they've eclipsed anything I could have even imagined today. <laughs> I've been no. so pumped. Yep. You couldn't even imagine. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I don't think today could have gone any better. We've seen two epic matches and we've had a lot of support from you guys as well along the way. So big thank you. We're going to end on the button because everyone's <laughs> asking for it. But well done to Aslan Karatsev. He's done it again. Aslan.